Yo, what's up, chat? How are we all doing today? We are doing a watch party for the Champions League here. Let me get this text off the screen, actually. But yeah, what's up, everybody? Hope we're all having a good night. I haven't done a watch party before, so I thought I would stream one here and see how it goes. But yeah, what's up, chat? How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Hope we're all having a good day. But yeah, thought I would do a watch party. Haven't done one before, and uh, I was curious. As to how this uh, this Champions League would go. Of course, it is rotation gameplay. Yo, Afro, what's up? Yo, what's going on? How we doing? Glad you're streaming because uh, Helldivers 2 servers is trash. Dude, rip. But yeah, we are we're doing a watch party right now. And uh, we're watching some of this Champions League gameplay. This is rotation. So it's a bit later at night. I, I don't think I've ever really gone live at 9.30 before at night. But like... That's because of Japan's time, but uh, I definitely wanted to try doing a watch party again. I've never done this before, so I thought I would do it. I also haven't been streaming that often either. It's been a while since I've streamed. Um, but yeah, what's up, YouTube and Twitch? How we doing? Yeah, what's going on, Henry? How we doing, Chris? What's up? What's up? What's up? When is next LDF funny moments video? I'm honestly not too sure yet. I'm not too sure. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully one day. I'm down to do another one. I mean, to be fair, the last video was like years upon years of funny moments. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I definitely would be down to do another one for sure. Yo, Frizz, what's up? What's up? I'm doing good, Frizz. Hope you're having a good good night too. What decks are we expecting to see? Um, Well, I think like I don't – I'm not sure what the standings are right now. Actually, I think we can take a look. So Limitless has the, uh, the City League pulled up here. Um, but I'm not sure they – or do they have the no they don't have the Champions League pulled up. They have the City Leagues pulled up here. Um but I don't think they have the uh the Champions League. I don't know what the standings are right now in the Champions League. I think the last deck that was just on stream was a uh uh what was it? It was like uh I think it was like Arc Tina versus Charizard. I think that was the last deck they just streamed. It was Arc Arc versus Charizard. So But I've watched a bit of it. We've seen, like, some interesting control with, like, Great Tusk. Um, there was an Ursa Luna deck yesterday. Shempow. Charizard is very popular right now in the format. Charizard is, like, the BDIF in Japan right now. Been playing your Palmot deck before rotation? Honestly, the deck... Well, I mean, I don't know if it survives rotation, but... I was driving to the store today, and the license plate in front of you said LDF. Dude, no way. You should have got a picture of that. That's actually jokes. Yeah, what's up, Rogue Trainer? I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good, too. What's up, what's up? Too much Charizard? Yeah, it's like, it's the BDIF. We're probably going to see more Charizard. This is day two right now. We're watching the second day of the, the league. Um, so we're probably going to see more Charizard, I would imagine. I would imagine there's going to be a lot of Charizard, but we'll see. We'll see how much Charizard there is. I mean, yeah, Char Charizard's like, it's good. It's, it's a good deck. I don't know. We'll see if there's any any Charizard or not. Greetings from Japan. Yo, what's going on? What's up? What's up? You're doing really well. Thank you. It's uh, 2, 3 a.m. Hopefully, I uh, want to say hi. Social love for bed. Yo, no worries, Rogue. Glad you make it out. Could be good for the Arc Gudra Vulpix players. Yeah, I don't know if there's been an Arc Gudra on stream yet. I would, I'm hoping there was. That'd be kind of cool if there was already an Arc Gudra on stream. That's a cool deck. I'd like to see, I would like to see an Arceus Gudra on stream. We just had Arc Teen on stream though, right? So I don't know, maybe not. There was one yesterday? Yo, that's sick. Yeah, our, our Gudra's pretty cool. Our Gudra's pretty cool. Yo, Flamer, what's going on? Welcome, welcome out. We are doing a watch party right now for the Champions League. What's going on? Yo, what's up, Paul? Great stream tonight. Yo, glad you made it out, Paul. Welcome, welcome. All right, looks like we're getting the next round here of the the league. Laffy's gone after rotation XP share. Oh, that's true. I guess you can play... Yeah, you're probably going to have to play EXP share with the... Uh, with the palm on. I guess you can still use generator, but yeah, the deck's probably a bit slower without Flaffy. True that, true that. All right, we got two decks here. I don't know what we, I don't know what we're, we're watching, what decks we're watching, but uh, we're going to find out. Some, yo, what's up? What's up from Tucson? Yo, what's going on, Bunny? How we doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, welcome everybody to the stream. It's a bit of a later stream tonight. Um, Again, the, the, the league's going on pretty late tonight, so I had to start it a bit later than usual. Um, I was bit, I would have started the stream at like seven when the when the tournament started, but I was away. I was away this afternoon, so unfortunately I wasn't home. I just got home like twenty minutes ago, so I was like, oh, I want to do a watch party, but 
Yeah, I got home a bit late. I was at a, I was at a family gathering. So, yo, what's up, Adam? Uh, how you doing? I was playing Tina and Lost Box. Uh, you uh, deck out twice during your local tournament. You're not happy about Goldango's gonna be great. Yeah, Goldango's Goldango's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll maybe Goldango's on stream right now. Saw an RC's Giratina deck just now. Can you make a vid about it? Rotation, yeah, for rotation, sure. Arctina, Arctina's like kind of okay right now in our current format. Um, I think it's like it's an okay deck. It does get a lot better with rotation, or like it, it gets better. It loses path, but it does, it does get a little better, because like it gains a good matchup with Charizard, right? So, yeah, we're getting the Ursaluna EX. I think the card reveals are gonna be like at one a.m. tonight. I'm not sure I'll be streaming that late. Um, I don't know if I'll be streaming till one a.m. But I obviously I'll probably get a, get a I'm probably gonna get a second channel video out by by uh one a.m. Or by when the cards get revealed. So there'll be like an upload tonight on the second channel. What about taking Esprather to your League Cup tomorrow? Esprather's all right. Um, it depends on it depends on what your meta is like. If there's a lot of Moon and Zard, it's not bad. Yo, Clam Burglar. What's going on, bro? Tier 1 sub for 19 a month. Yeah, I appreciate that sub there, Clam. Thank you, thank you. Arctina can be dangerous. Uh, yeah, Iron Leaves and Maximum Belt are just insane for the deck. I wonder if Blood Mirror Saluna will be a stage 2 or basic. Hmm. True that, true that. That's a good point, actually. It'll be... That'll be interesting. Still best of one. Yeah, yeah. We're watching best of one right now. Champions League's in best of one. All right, we got Shen Pao, it looks like, versus... Is it Shen Pao? Oh, it's Goldango. Goldango versus Future Box. Okay. So we got Goldango versus Future Box. I'm assuming this is Goldango. Judging from the the Palkia... It could be... It, it could be Shen Pao. It's probably not. It's probably... It's probably Goldango. It's probably Goldango. Yo, pocket full monsters. Grafaya, BDIF. Yo, what's going on? I, I haven't done a video on Grafaya. Maybe I gotta do that one day. Sup from uh, Grover Beach, California. I, I use your Serena Vanellux build. Beat Zard, Shen Pao, and Roy Moon. About 50-50. Wonderful ever seed in comp. Yo, maybe. I've seen a few Serena decks in rotation. Maybe Serena gets better with rotation. Who knows? Who knows? I'm actually working on getting another Serena video out very, very soon. No leaks. Rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Let's get it. Yo, what's up, Ghost? How we doing? Welcome out. Pretty sure this is Future Box. Yeah, it's definitely Future Box. It's Future Box versus Goldengo. So we just literally, yeah, we were just saying we got to see some Goldengo gameplay, and there we go. There you go. You want to start playing Future Box? The deck, the deck looks good. I think we, I've said this before, but we gotta, we gotta figure out the best way to play it before I think it becomes super meta. Super fun deck. You uh, beat a TSS player playing Lost Box Mawile in a money tourney. Yo, what the heck? Yo, nice, nice, nice. All right, we got Goldengo with the Buddy Poffin. They got they got good camera angles. Like, look at this. That's actually, bro. They the the mainstream's got to figure out how to incorporate this. This is kind of crazy. Serena Vanellix seems to only struggle with Goldengo. True. I mean, well, yeah. I guess like the way to beat Goldengo is if they evolve all their gimme ghouls, you just like hit each gimme ghoul with Serena, put a panic mask on. You go like panic mask Vanellux, and then you just like hit all the Goldengos. But Goldengo can one shot you. If Serena can get one hit KO'd by like like Shen Pao and Goldengo, not fun. Not not great for the deck. Not great. So you can turn the the sound up a little bit. Let me know if it's like I don't know. I don't want I don't want like the commentary from the game to get in the way, but I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Expecting the W and walked away. Jeez. Not bad, though. It's a TSS win for sure. Yeah. Serena Vanellix is kind of cool. Yeah, so Goldengo's going first against Future Box. Is, is, I, I think Goldengo's probably favored here. I don't... Future Box... Well, okay. If the Future Box player has Iron Moth, I would imagine they're favored. Four Tree Pokemon are getting some good support from Temporal Forces. Yeah, we saw that baton card in here, which is kind of sick. Is Arceus and Roy Moon a good combination? Uh, no, nah, not really. There's not. You can't excite your energy to Roy Moon, so it's probably not great. I kind of wish we played best of one 25 minute rounds. There's, there's good, there's, there's good and bad things about best of one. I think best of three is better for regionals because, like, regionals is like you don't want to get like just completely like blown out of day two because you got like you got three bad beats in a row. I think best of three is fair. But, like, obviously there's decks that are designed for best of one and best of three. Like, Gardevoir, for example. Gardevoir is the best best of one deck right now. Like, if you're in a best of one tournament, Gardevoir is an amazing deck to play, right? Because it's very good in best of one. Best of three, it's a little shaky. Chempao is 60 times. Goldengo is 60. Grafaya is 40. Goldengo is 50 times. Goldengo is 50 times. 
Moon and Zardi excess potential. They're pretty good right now, man. Yeah, Zard's a good deck. Lunar Rock has also been good for me on the ladder. Hey, yeah, Lunar Rock's a good meme, good meme. Yeah, Golden Angle's 50 times. That was I was trying to learn that too. I had I had a few instances in Knoxville where I had to double check my energy to make sure I was doing 50 times. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't want to do the wrong damage. Yo, Moondust with a tier one sub. What's up, LDF? How you doing today? Yo, Moondust, appreciate that sub there. I'm doing good. We are doing a watch party right now for the Champions League. Uh, we're watching Future Box versus Goldengo. Yeah, I haven't streamed in a while, and I wanted to try a watch party. I've never done a watch party before, so I wanted to try it out. Um, it's a bit later at night than I usually would stream, but, you know, thought it'd be a good time to stream regardless. Yeah, Raging Bolt is 70 times. Amazing Rare Rayquaza was 80 times. Yeah. Moonzard in the same deck. Oh, Moonzard? With that, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Shampao, Goldie, and Grafaii. Yeah. You can you can get donked in best of one. Yes, you can. It's very possible for that to happen. I was playing Maridon to my locals yesterday, and I had like two games where I got turn one iron hands, and like I won the game because of it. Because my opponent couldn't do anything about the hands, and I just like was like, all right, I get double ampy very much, and the game's over. Um, best of one can be very cruel. Yo, what up? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good too. And tell her what's up. What's up? Raging is 70 times. Was Ray No, Rayquaza was 80, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Rayquaza was 80. Was that am I trolling? Bro, I can't remember. A couple of your decks with IRL cards and your Claydol Claude's Eye or meme deck. Maybe yo, Claydol with uh Brubonic could be pretty good too, actually. That could be that maybe that's better than Claude's Eye if you want to update that. Triple hands, true, true. Rayquaza is 20 plus 80. No, I don't think Rayquaza had a base damage. Yeah, Ray Ray was 80 times, yeah. I'm not trolling. I knew it was 80 times. I was like, I remember, I, I vividly remember that card. All right. So it looks like it's just Maridon with uh, Iron Hands. I don't see any, um, I don't see any, uh, any Iron Moth. I feel like, um, I, f <laughs> I feel like the, the Gold Dango player should be favored here if there's no Iron Moth in the deck, right? If there's no Iron Moth, I think Gold Dango should be favored. Because, like, if you just, like, I feel like if you if you literally just like don't if you just put gold dangles in play how how does the how does the future box player win? Amazing rare ray was your baby. I I love how that card got good at the end of the format. Yeah, this is like an iron hands deck. I don't think there's any iron moth in the deck, which probably makes this matchup slightly unfavored for uh, the the future box deck, right? You can't read any of these cards. I mean, it's in Japanese. It's in Japanese. Well, I mean, you can't really, like, I mean, you can't really read them anyways because they're, like, kind of small. Well, like, other than the new cards, like, that's that's Iron Crown. That's the new Maridon. Obviously, Iron Hands, Gimme Ghoul, Palkia V, Buddy Poffin. Yo, the Buddy Poffin, but they mill the Palkia V star. F in the chat. Lost Ray was sick, yeah. I remember saying Lost Ray was a horrible card when it came out. I, I never could get a video on that card, and all of a sudden, Lost Box came out, and the card became meta. Amazing Rare is 80 times. Oh, yeah, Ray VMAX. Ray, Ray, Ray VMAX is 20 plus 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tears worth of playing Pokemon cards from your friend and pull Sylveon V, Ray VMAX, Stone Drinner, Pika Rom, and Seraphine Pika. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good pulls. You may have to try and build uh, Brubonic Claydol. I mean, yeah, if you want to play the Claydol deck again, I definitely think Claude Zire is just, you can swap it out for uh, Brew Bonnet. It's just probably better to play a one prize or keep it all one prize. What was the item they uh, showed in the future box prizes? Yeah, yeah, it was the, the, new, the new tool card. So you put it on Iron Hands, and if Iron Hands gets knocked out, so you put it on a Pokemon with a four retreat cost. If that Pokemon gets knocked out, all the energy on that Pokemon go to a new Pokemon on the bench. So it's like... It's like a broken EXP share for future Pokemon. But it only works on Pokemon with a four retreat cost. So it, you can put it on Iron Hands EX. But yeah, like I said, I, I do think that the uh, the Goldengo player should be fine in this matchup. As long as the future box player doesn't play Iron Moth, I think Goldengo should be fine, right? You just have to, like, evolve all your stuff. Like, I feel like, I honestly don't even know if there should have been a, a, a Palkia in play. I feel like putting Palkia in play is an easy two-prize knockout. I feel like, yeah, maybe putting Palkia in play might have been, like, a, a mistake. Because I feel like if you just, like, don't put Palkia in play, if you just put Gold Angles in play, how does Iron Hands do anything? Because Iron Hands can't do 260 damage. Even if you have, like, four Iron Crown in play, it's still, like, not doing enough damage. Like, 
That's still 240. Even with all the modifiers, that's still at 240. Actually, no. You can go quad. You can go quad iron crown plus a future booster capsule. But like, you, there's no way you're gonna get that going. So I don't know. The Japanese Ultra Ball being named Hyper Ball. I like that more than Ultra, to be honest. Hyper sounds kind of good. Palky is an easy three prize knockout. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like baton from yeah exactly to me yeah. Yeah, the the new tool card is gonna be very good for Iron Hands for sure. All right, we see the future box. Like, I feel like as a future box player, you gotta just go for the, just go for the knockout on the one prize. I feel like you just go around the Goldengo if you can, but they're not playing Prime Catcher probably. They're probably playing the the reboot bot, so you can't really go around. It might be hard for the it might be hard for a future box to go around the Goldengo. But that if I was the the future box player, I would look to go in around Goldengo. Like, kill the Gimme Ghoul with the MP very much. Kill the Palkia, Kill the Greninja. And there's there's your game right there. There's your six prize cards right there. Because, like, you hit the Goldango with arm press for, like, 180, 200 damage, and then Goldango just knocks you out, and then you just, like, game over. You just can't... I guess you could hit Goldango. Actually, no. There is a win con, actually. The Future Box player could hit the Goldango with arm press, and then amp the Goldango to knock it out, and then KO the Palkia with Ampy very much. Yeah, there is a win con, I guess. I guess that works. But, like, you have to, like... Yep. I mean, actually, that's probably not a, that's probably that's probably not hard to do to be honest. The Goldengo player is not playing vacuum. Probably, you can probably pull that off. Actually, maybe there is a win con. Future box. It seems good. Resolve aren't showing numbers. I just think people haven't figured out the best build for it. Um, yo, Soho and Ender, what's going on? How are we doing? Welcome out to the stream. We're watching the new Champions League tonight. Um. Just started the stream up, but uh, I haven't done a watch party before, so I thought I would try one out. See how it goes. We're watching some Future Box versus Goldengo here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let me just zoom in a bit more. You guys can see more of the gameplay. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, I guess like Future Box could go like around the Iron Hands EX. Or go around the Goldengo. Yeah, there you go. Wait. Wait, what? What just happened? Did he try to boss Greninja? Did, oh, did he try to... Did he, like, double supporter by accident or something? What just happened? I wasn't looking. Yeah, it's Turbo Iron Hands. I'll probably go into EUIC. I do want to go. I, I'm going to register. I am going to register. I, I do... I haven't been to London, so I do want to go to EUIC. Yeah. A-Specs are back? They are. Yeah, yeah. A-Specs are back. Yeah, just hit the... Hit the... Hit the Goldengo. I, yeah, I feel like you can... Goldengo goes two prizes. You go knockout Goldengo. Yeah, okay. The Iron Hands player could win in like two turns. If the if the Iron okay, so you can go knockout Goldengo with Ampy very much here. The only okay, if the Goldengo player goes into another Goldengo, then the future box player has to go boss boss. Cause yeah, the fu the future box player has to go they have to do two amps. They have to amp twice to win this game. Otherwise, there's, like, no way you're going to be able to go through three Goldengos. It's, like, impossible. You have to... Yeah, the, the, the Future Box player... Well, I guess, like, if the Future Box player does play an Iron Moth EX, which I don't think there is an Iron Moth. I'm pretty sure this is just Iron Hands. Like, this is just straight Turbo Hands. Watching Japanese tourneys make this feel like a completely different game? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yo, Wuzzy, what's up? Yeah, long time no see. Welcome out to the stream. We are doing a watch party right now for the Champions League, and, uh... Yeah, I haven't done a watch party before, and like I said, I wanted to try doing one and seeing how, seeing how it all goes, because I haven't, I haven't done a watch party before, so I thought I would try one out and see how it all goes. What is a gold card next to hands? Uh, Iron Crown EX. It boosts the damage by 20 damage, so it makes Iron Hands do 20 more damage. You see live streams again? I, I do want to do more. The reason I haven't been streaming as much, Timmy, is just because, like, there's just not that much. There's not enough new content for me to stream. The only thing, the only thing I've thought about streaming was like tournaments. That's about it. Everything else is like, there's just not enough new content, unfortunately. Did you just discard three lightning from the Pokestop? It might have been. Yeah, it might have been. Watching. Yeah. Doesn't get much better than this. Yeah. Glad you made it out United. Glad you make it out. Iron chicken legs. Yeah, basically. Triple Hands Madness it actually is madness. I mean, it gets the job done. Iron Hands is pretty good card. Pretty good card. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, future Future Box has to go hit twice to win this. I think. 
Yo, Mewtwo's, what's up? I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good, too. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome. We're doing a watch party right now, watching uh, the uh, Champions League right now in Japan. Iron Crown boosts 20 more damage for any Pokemon? Just for future Pokemon. So Iron Crown lets Iron Hands do 20 more damage. And it stacks. So you can have, like, two or three in play and do, like, plus 60 damage. Iron Hands is cracked. It actually is. Broken card, bro. Broken card. Yo, Arter, what's up? I just wanted to thank you for your content. I'm glad you are doing good, man. Yeah, I appreciate the support. I appreciate that a ton. Welcome out. Welcome out to the stream. The hands can't get to 220. Yeah, being able to amp you very much for, like, 180 is kind of disgusting. Yeah. We're hanging with a little dark? Exactly, bro. The Fury Master? Facts, facts. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Go... <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Future Box should win the game if they can go two knockouts. Knock out the knockout gold dango with AMP very much, take two prize cards, and then take a boss knockout on Palkia, and that's the game, right? That's 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 six prizes in two turns. So there is a win con, but if the Gold Dango player like plays a Roxanne, could get sticky. Yeah, three prizes with amp. You have, yeah, the, the, you have, you have to amp the Goldengo, knock it out, take three prizes, and then you have to kill the Palkia to win the game. That's, it's the only way the Future Box player wins, right? You hate mini sets, gives hardly anything new. Yeah, Paldean Fates, unfortunately, didn't have a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> I wish it did, I wish it did, though. Yo, Cleaser, what's up? Welcome out, welcome out to the stream. The creative deck sorcery. I'm always cooking, I'm always cooking. A concealed card? Was it a concealed card? Not, did the guy's card, like, fall off the table? Hmm. What? Nah, no way it's a concealed card. I think the guy, I think the card fell off the table or something, right? It was like a, it was like a mistake, I think. The judge found a card on the floor? Ooh. I don't think it's a concealed card, though. He probably just, like, shuffled the deck and the card fell. That's happened before. Like, I, I've had that happen to me where I'm, like, I'm shuffling, and then, like, a card slips out, and then I'm, like, oh, I got to pick that up. Like, it happens. So maybe they just didn't catch it, I guess? There's no way no way it's concealed. Well, if, if you're going to conceal a card, though, leaving it on the floor isn't really a good way to conceal it. You can't, you can't, you can't cheat by putting a card on the floor. You can't, like, you can't, like, go like this, pick it up. You have to put it on, like, yeah, no, you can't do that. <laughs> That's not, you can't, that, I don't know. He probably just fell. He probably dropped when he was shuffling the deck. Any updates for Ice Rider Palkia pre-constructed from 2022? Uh, there is a few Palkia decks that have been doing good with Ice Rider recently at some of the recent regionals. There's one that got top eight at San Antonio. The conceal card thing, no shade. No, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely like a mistake. The guy probably just like dropped it when he was shuffling or something or, or maybe, or did he like drop it when he like drew a card? I wasn't looking, but we'll see. Yeah, Pokemon literally named Raiding Greninja off of off of an incident. That's kind of funny. You're lean and fury. I'm basically, bro. The Fortress Box is basically your main deck. Yo, Fortress Box. That's spicy. I have not seen that before. Got to scoop up the table. I was dropping your Hyper Ball. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe. The new future mods with Techno Radar be more playable. Yeah, 100%. Techno Radar is one of the things that makes the deck good because it's like you have a free battle VIP pass, essentially. Like, no no other deck has... No other deck in the format, apart from Buddy Poffin, has access to a card like that. Yeah, Fortress Hands. I've seen I've seen talk of that before. Yo, maybe I gotta do a video on that. I haven't done a Fortress EX video in a while. I've not done a Fortress EX video in a while. Yo, what's up, Nico? Hello from Asia. What's up? Glad you can make it out to the stream. We are watching the Champions League right now. There's an incident going on here... Um, I'm not sure if the play the player probably dropped the card. Hopefully this gets resolved. This is like a good match. Like this is kind of a close game. Future is OP cracked. It's pretty good. I'm curious if we're going to get more future and ancient cards in the new set that we're getting revealed tonight. I'm curious on that. Future box or ancient box more fun at the moment. Right now in, in the post right now in our current format, I would say ancient is better because Roy Moon's a top tier deck, but post rotation. Ancient's doing better than Future is. Yeah, Future Future's doing better than Ancient right now. Or no, Ancient's doing better than Future in the new format. Hype for some announcements? Yeah. JDM set reveal tonight? Yo, imagine. 
Yeah, we got the the Blood Moon Ursa Luna uh, getting revealed. I'm curious. It is scuffed. It is scuffed. Tie. Yeah, hopefully this gets resolved. Not sure. I'm surprised this. I don't know what happened, but like, I'm surprised it's taking so long to fix this. I'm not sure what happened. Did like the guy drop the card when he was like? Did he like draw? Did he like draw a card and like just it fell off the table or something? Or did he like? They might have start. Maybe they they started the match and maybe the card was just on the floor. Yo, Casey, what's up? We're just watching the Champions League. We're watching Future Box versus Gold Dengo. The new set release, uh, Temporal Forces comes out March twenty third. So it's literally like still over a month away. Hmm. That's actually kind of unfortunate. If 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 the card was on the floor before the match started, that's not actually really unfortunate. But I think they're getting back into the game. The guy's putting the headset back on. That's a good sign. The guy doesn't look like upset or anything. He doesn't look like he's like he looks yeah, he doesn't look like he's like yeah, he doesn't look cheese or anything. Yo, Sonny, what's up? I know, Sonny. I wish. Yeah, glad you can make it out to the watch party. What's going on, bro? I hate how they always uh, release stuff in Japan, then do money grabs for the U.S. Bro's always making Charizard cards. He set his card to Wumbo, basically, yeah. We only have two Ancient Future supporters. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a lot more Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces is going to be a bigger set for uh, the future in Ancient Mechanic. And then maybe maybe they're going to reveal more tonight. Maybe we'll see. But we're, there's no way we're not going to see more Ancient Future cards tonight. I refuse to believe that. I feel like, I don't know if Temporal Force is going to be the only Ancient and Future set. Probably not, though. Ancient and Future is like the new battle styles. Like, and those lasted for a few sets. A shout-out to one of my favorite card shops at Fresno. Shout-out to the homie Gazer and Steven over at Triumph TCG. There you go, Gazer. Shout-out to them. Okay, looks like the game has resumed. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. I guess the guy, like, dropped the card by accident earlier on, and I don't know. We'll see. Reveals on his Twitter. Yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be reveals tonight. There, I thought there's gonna be reveals tomorrow, bro. I, I set an alarm for the morning and they didn't reveal them. I was like, bro. Uh, San Antonio, San Antonio Regionals last year. Where's your card? Facts, facts. The new controversy. You think so? LDF run Glamora at Epic for me. Glamora EX. I did a video on Glamora EX recently, though. To be fair. Yeah, no, I'm excited for the card reveals. So I'm really excited for the new card reveals. Card reveals are like probably my favorite my favorite time of the week. That tube looking that card is. Uh which one? What tube looking to card is? Wait, what do you mean by that, King? Are you talking about the gold card? That's Siren Crown. Yeah, uh, Goldango's arguably even better after rotation. You wanna see a hybrid ancient future mon? Yo, that'd be kind of cool, actually. They could be like a fusion. Fusion Strike was kind of like a hybrid of. Well, wasn't it? actually that didn't make any sense, but I don't know. Yo, Booster, what's up? Sorry, typo. The tool card that looks like a tube. Oh, oh, Future Booster Capsule. There's Future Booster Capsule, and then there's like a new Baton card that, whenever a Pokemon with a four tree cost is knocked out, you move all the energy from that Pokemon to another Pokemon. So it works with Iron Hand DX because it has a four tree. The Stellar Mechanic will work. Future Strike, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, it probably, probably would be, right? Because Stellar's, like, the... Actually, I was talking I was talking with this with uh, Lindsay when I was visiting her a couple weeks back. We were talking about, like, how the Stellar mechanic would get introduced to the TCG. I guess that'll be, like, the Fusion Strike mechanic. That'll probably... I bet you that'll be our May set, is when we'll get Stellar stuff. I guarantee you that's when that'll be. That's so broken. Yeah, Hybrid, hybrid Ancient Future would be kind of broken. Do you think getting more A specs in future sets this year caused a lot of A specs reveal for the first set? That is true. Yeah, we didn't. I mean, I feel like because the sets are bigger now and the game's more popular, they're probably going to reveal more new A specs. So I think there's still going to be a couple new A specs for sure. I'm not sure we're going to get any A spec reveals tonight, though, but you never know. Because they revealed, what, like six, seven A specs already? And that was only in the two sets. I don't know. They might reveal a few more. We could flame her, or it could be like the, the battle styles where we just got them for like three sets or four. We, no, it was four sets. Battle styles, chilling rain, evolving sky, fusion strike. It might be like that, but we'll see. But even is there even enough ancient and future cards to do that though? That's the other problem. Is there even enough like ancient future Pokemon you could even do at that point though? 
I don't know if there is. Any other languages? Uh, not really. I, I know a bit of Italian. Because I'm Italian. That's all I really know. Oh, so they gave the guy a, they gave the guy a prize card penalty. They gave the guy a prize card penalty. That's good. I mean, that sucks. Because, I mean, all the guy needs is the boss. If, if, if he has boss... Okay, he got... Uh, yeah. If he has boss, he just wins. Because he just, like, bosses Greninja. And ham hands it. Is there any way Goldengo can win here? The Goldengo player has to disrupt the hand, right? Because I assume the I am I assume Future Box guy has the has the boss. Have X in his prizes? It was a prize penalty. It was a prize penalty. LDF's Italian. I am Italian. Get more future ancient cards in the future. Yeah, it'll it'll probably be like the uh it'll probably be like battle style stuff, I imagine. Matank Temporal Forces? Dude, I can't wait for Matang to come out. The stadium that takes away all cards with rule boxes abilities? I think Pat the Peak is a very healthy card to have in the game. As long as, if Pokemon are going to keep printing cards like Charizard X, I think it's very healthy to have a card like Pat in the format. Best place you played in a tournament? I really enjoyed San Antonio. San Antonio and Orlando were my two favorite regionals that I've been to so far. Italian Dark Fury, basically. Yeah, they, they probably dropped the card off the table when they were shuffling you. Do you play any other games? Yeah, I, uh, I've been getting back into playing Call of Duty Zombies. I don't really play the multiplayer. I think Call of Duty multiplayer is, like, pretty bad now. Like, I think it's fell off. Call of Duty has fallen off, dude. Call of Duty is no longer as good as it used to be. But uh, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Custom Zombies on Black Ops 3. I those That and Pokemon are, like, really all I play right now. It's going to have a SIR? Uh, not yet, no. No Fortnite? <laughs> I've played I've I've played a lot of Fortnite before. I haven't I haven't played Fortnite since the uh, the old map came back. And then I stopped playing it. I, I don't know, I've I just stopped playing Fortnite like a long time ago. Is social games? Yeah. Call of Duty is no longer as good as it used to be. Path is rotated with Charizard in mind? Maybe. Okay, well I mean we'll see how bad Charizard gets. I feel like the problem is see <laughs> Every stream I rant about Charizard, bro. I, I swear I'm not I'm not that type of guy, but Charizard is just like a card that Pokemon designed where it's like it feels like it kind of I feel like Charizard kind of gatekeeps all these like two prize basic decks. Like the the reason why Future Box probably doesn't have the best results right now is because of Charizard. I feel like Charizard is just a bad matchup. Crimson Haze reveals. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Should I try to buy an ancient box deck? I think so. I think the single prize ancient box deck is actually very good. I was at my locals last night and I was hanging out and uh, yeah, I was hanging out with my friend Remy, and he was playing. Uh, he he brought like he like proxy rotation decks. I was watching him play the the future the ancient box one prize deck with Roaring Moon. He was playing against Sinchino Lugia and he was like destroying him. He was like doing like two hundred and eighty damage by like turn four. I was like, holy crud. I'm excited for f Ancient Box. I, that might, I don't know if it's the first deck I'll do a video on, but I might. And that's game, right? Yo, he does the hands. <laughs> Yo, this guy's a legend, bro. Let's go. All right. And the Future Box player wins and goes 10 and 2 versus the Goldengo Palkia player. It was game anyways, right? Even if even if the guy didn't get the prize penalty, it was game anyways because he had the three prize kill on the Palkia. Like I said, he had to two-shot the Goldengo with Iron Hands and then kill the Palkia for game. If the if the Goldengo player never benched Palkia and never got the 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 prize card error, the Goldengo player probably would have won. Cause like, if you just put Goldengos in play, how does how does Future Box beat that without without Iron Moth? Yeah, bro went bro would bow to the amp. That's crazy. More people like we have to normalize that. We don't we don't see enough of that. We gotta normalize doing this on stream. We have to normalize that. The hands, bro. The hands. Zard or anti Zard, there's no other meta. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Char Charizard, Charizard is definitely one of the... It, Charizard reminds me a lot of Mew VMAX. Like, I don't think it's as good as Mew ever was, but, like, Charizard reminds me a lot of Mew VMAX. It's just a card that's, like, just ridiculous. Japanese scene seems more peaceful. True, true. Ancient Box seems like it has a few really cool variations. Ancient Ancient Box definitely is going to be pretty good, I think. And it, hey, man, if we get if we get more Ancient cards revealed tonight, the Ancient Toolbox deck probably gets better. But so could Future Box. Maybe there's like a card Future Box gets revealed later tonight. Iron Hand Skeletors. 
Yeah, I guess if you play the heavy baton, you have to play like generator and heavy baton. That could be that could be a fun that could be a fun fun rogue deck. Ancient box seems like it has a few really cool variations. Yeah. The normalized hands. Normalized hand. Wait, this. I'm saying I'm, we should normalize doing that on stream. Like when you when you do ampy very much to your opponent, you should do this. You should we should normalize people doing this on stream. They, I mean, to be fair, they do do that. I've seen it, seen it before on stream where they'll do this. Like whenever somebody iron hands someone, they'll go like this. But that should just be like you have. You should always. You should be. If you're if you're playing Mariah, if you're playing a deck with iron hands in it, and they put you on stream, you should sign a waiver that you're forced to do this every time you do Ampy very much. Or there is no if hands or but and if hands or buts. You have to do this every time. Psyduck hands, pretty much, bro. New ancient future Pokemon's in the games. I don't really doubt the paradox uh, beast paradox swords would be the last from paradox mons. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know, I. I don't know. I, I honestly haven't played the Scarlet and Violet video games. I don't know every single Pokemon in the... I don't know every single Paradox Pokemon that exists. But I would imagine that we should get Paradox Pokemon that... Um, I imagine... I mean, maybe we'll just get more Paradox Pokemon that are, like, normal Pokemon-like. I don't, I don't, maybe not, though. No if hands, or butts? Pretty much. Charizard looks much more like Lugia when it came out. I don't know, but I, Pulse Edition Charizard I don't think is on the same level as Silver Tempest Lugia. I th I would compare it more to Mew VMAX. I would compare it more to Mew, Mew, Mew VMAX, where it's clearly the best deck in the format, and every deck around it has to be able to beat it. That's it. Charizard just reminds me of Mew VMAX. That's that's the best deck. I don't think it's as good as ADP or Mew. It's more just like AD. It's more like Mew VMAX. Yo, that'd be yo. An emo for live? Yo. That is a genius idea. They should actually do that. They should make an emote on live. They should. They have to. They should 100% do the ampy very much on live. Oh, for sure. That's a genius idea. What is Paradox Pokemon? Like the ancient future Pokemon. You're gonna miss Zoro Box. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Zoro Box too. F in the chat for the loss of Zoro Box. Guardy beats Zard. Pulsartation probably not. Right now it does. Pulsartation it probably doesn't. I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. Guardy reminds me of... I saw a tweet on this today. Guardy reminds me a lot of Lugia in the rotation. Where it's like... It was such a good deck. But it got even better. It got even better when the new set came out. Or it got... It was a really good deck in... Rot it was a good deck pre-rotation. Rotation happened. Everyone said the deck was dead. And it still proved that it was like good. I think Guardy's basically just like... It's like Lugia when it, when uh, all the stuff rotated. Yeah, F in the chat for a Zoro box for sure. The Zoro Mousehold deck, yeah. The closest thing I've seen to a Zoro box deck in Japan, I saw like a cool Zoro box. Um, I saw a cool Zoro box, or it was like a Scizor. It was like Scizor, uh, Scizor Radiant Charizard, Luxray, Cleaver, Low Kicks, which is like kind of. It's not really Zoro box. So it's like kind of the same thing. You're just like counter box stuff. Iron Jugulus? Iron Jugulus CX? Maybe. I, I, I feel like we're definitely going to get a... Uh, what's the Misdreavus thing called? Like, Fluttermane. I, I think we're going to get a Fluttermane EX. 100% we're going to get a Fluttermane. There's no way we're not going to get a Fluttermane EX, right? Iron Thorns EX would be kind of cool, too. Hopefully we get an Iron Jugulus, though. Yeah, because we... Hydreigon. Yeah, reversal box, which is like basically like Zoro box, not the same thing, but close. Zarder, Zarder first came out. I was combining it with Mew V Max, Zard Mew. I played against that on the ladder before. It's kind of wild. The thing for the handstands, yo, let's go. They're doing it too, bro. Everyone's it's the new wave, bro. The handstands. The Ampy very much dance, yeah, dude, that's sick. But like I said, they gotta normalize doing that. It should be a normal thing people do. Yeah, they do need more emotes. I, the problem with emotes, though, is, like, emotes are supposed to be, like, fun little, like, things that exist in the game. But everybody takes them out of context and, like, calls them toxic. I always see posts on the TCG Live subreddit where somebody's like, bro, my opponent emoted on me after beating me or something. I don't, like, I guess that can be considered toxic. Like, I get it. Or, like, if you're playing, like, if you're playing, like, a, a stall deck and you, like, emote spam your opponent, it can get a, obviously, that can be a little toxic, but. I feel like they should just remove emotes. I I don't know. Like, there's cool there's cool ideas. Like the ampy very much emote. Like, 
how have they not incorporated that yet? But that could probably get toxic. Like that that that'll be a cool thing for like a week, and then next thing you know, the TCG Live subreddit is going to be filled with people like my opponent was toxic. He iron hands me and did the ampy very much emote. Like that's so toxic, man. Like how could you, bro? Like my day is ruined. You emoted against me on a digital online client. Little dances for different TCG attacks, make it rain. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I, bro, there's so much potential they could do with live, but I don't know, bro. They gotta, they gotta, they gotta reach that potential. LDF catch these hands merch, yo, genius idea, bro. The energies have stuff around them. Wait, wait, wait. Did they? Did they? I didn't see that. There's special energies apart from the normal ones. Will you be a top deck? Yeah, I mean, that's why Pokemon can't print rainbow energy effects anymore, or at least for a while. And if they do, they have to be, like, single strike and rapid strike energy, where they're, like, limited to, like, a certain type of Pokemon. Your hype for Ancient Box? Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Maybe we'll see that on stream. I kind of want to see that get streamed. Every emote on live is antagonistic, pretty much. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know, like... If I'm if I'm bricking, I'll usually like you know if I'm bricking, you can say like a, a sad emote or a thumbs down emote, right? But like I, I guess there's like there's a time and place for everything, you know, like how Professor Oak says it to Ash. There's a time and place for everything. That's that's the best way to describe emotes. But like I don't know, people calling emotes toxic. It's like kind of funny because like I don't know, like I feel like I feel like people just like get offended by emotes way too easily now. It's not that big of a deal, bro. Talking about the thumbs down in the entire game. Dude, I saw that too. I saw that too. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, people get way too offended from the live emotes. It's actually jokes. Like, I guess it can be annoying. Like, I, I guess it's annoying, to be fair. Like, I like if you're on the receiving end of that, obviously it can get annoying. But I, I just find that hilarious. That it actually gets people that upset. There's nothing wrong with getting angry if your opponent, like, sacks you or, like, draws more battle VIPs than you turn one. Like, there's nothing wrong with getting angry if, like... If you get unlucky during a game, but when your opponent's like using emotes against you, like who cares, bro? It's like, bro, it's like, bro, it's that, you know, that Tyler the Creator quote where he's like, how is cyberbullying real? Just walk away from the computer, bro. That's literally what that is. The future from online I took for granted, most of us automatically change your card arts if you didn't have the exact ones, so the, the base version instead. Yeah, whenever I'm, whenever I'm importing a deck list in the description of my videos, I literally, in chat, every video, every video, I always copy and paste the deck list in my description. I literally manually go through every single artwork and change it to the minimum rarity. So every every video, I do that. And it gets annoying. Because, like, live's import system, it doesn't do... They should just make it minimum rarity. We need a mind-blown emote? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. They, I, I mean, they should add more emotes. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? I uh, position your video window over the uh, emote space in live. You can't handle them. <laughs> I mean, that's where my webcam is, right? Wait, is it? No, it's on this side, right? Am I trolling? No, it is there. Yeah, so you can't see any emotes when I'm streaming. Is this VGC? No, it's just TCG, just TCG. We're watching uh, rotation right now. Molding against emotes? People actually do that. It's just wild. I, I don't know. Like, it can be annoying. And I, I've maybe been, like, kind of annoyed by it before. Like, I'm not going to, like, sit here and be like, I've never been, like, annoyed by it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Like, Pokemon added emotes is, like, a fun little, like, silly, like, feature. And people, like, treat it like it's, like, your opponent's being a toxic. Like, I guess, like, if you're spamming emotes when you're, like, playing Snorlax or something, like, I can understand how that's toxic. But even then, bro, it's just, it's an emote, bro. Who cares? You can emote back to your opponent. Like, if you're getting emoted on and you're getting upset about it, just emote back or something. You don't have to, like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Japan have these... Bro, their trailers are 10 times better than the TCG trailers we have, bro. Look at this. Dash crazy, bro. The Paldea Evolved trailer. Wait, is it not... Wait, am I trolling? It's not Paldea Evolved. It's like Scarlet and Violet? Okay, it's like a Scarlet and Violet trailer. Best parental TCG advice? Bro, I'm spinning facts. Emote spam is toxic, but once games are done, like, bro, it's done, who cares? Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Palkia Goldengo deck, and you had a uh, switch to better art rarity. Yeah. Yeah. Emo back sun? You can literally do that. Yeah. It's Paldean Fates. Oh, you're right. It is. It's Paldean Fates trailer. I didn't even realize. 
That ran Pokemon TCG in your city clothes. Where in Canada should you move to? Well, where do you live, Finns? I the, the Toronto. Toronto's a really good area. There's a lot of there's a lot of stores in Toronto. Like there's a lot of stores in Toronto. Shiny Treasures EX, yeah. The GOAT. Yeah, thumbs up emote is fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, back in the day, you used to be able to go, like, well-played. Well-played was a pretty popular. Well-played was pretty popular, but there's no well-played in live, bro. Clavel turned into Clive was genius. That is kind of sick. Yeah, we have Squawkabilly. That's... Squawkabilly is basically a replacement. I would argue, I would argue Squawkabilly is better than Crobat. I can make, I can make the argument Squawkabilly right now is better than Crobat. Maybe not as good as Crobat was during the ADP format, but I would argue that Squawkabilly is a better card than Crobat. It, dude, it's literally, bro, it's literally Dedenne. It's literally Dedenne. Yeah, dab emote. They should add a dab emote. I feel like the moon should have gotten a shiny in Paldean Fates. I think Paldean I think Paldean Fates was probably like designed though before I think Paldean Fates was probably like created though like before the Paradox stuff was made. That's probably why we never got a shiny version of it. The new Palkia Charizard deck. Yeah, it had like a comfy in it too. I saw that, yeah. It was a weird deck. To curbs our potion or uh, bulldozing the format, you re you reckon? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Crobat V Max. Crobat V Max was good. It was very good, and it was very good. It was good in Arceus. But Squawkabilly. Squawkabilly is just a good card. Being able to discard your hand and draw six cards is insane. It's literally Dedenne, but like better. It's not, it's not better than Dedenne, but it's like it's basically just it's basically Dedenne. It's basically it's not the same, but it's it's pretty close to Dedenne. Dedenne is good because you can use it any time in the game. But Squawkabilly, like being able to do that in your first turn just means you can have a better start than your opponent. Like if I'm playing like if I'm playing Gardevoir and I'm playing against Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon is always gonna have a better turn one than me because of Squawkabilly. Whereas Gardevoir just goes like bench two Rolf's pass. Where like Roaring Moon can like do everything. And the same with Maridon. Maridon is like OP because of cards like Squawkabilly. Like Moon and Maridon are like really good thanks to Squawk. The Palkia Zard deck also has a couple top 16s. It's a weird deck. I, I mean, I don't know if it's actually good. I mean, it might just be like a meme. Like it's, I, I don't know if like the deck's actually like legit or not. Yeah, the only way to win was go first, basically. Did the Turbo Iron Hands Future Box win? It did win, yes, it did win. The guy got a, he got a, he got a prize card penalty. So the future box player needed to take five prizes to win, but he had game anyways. He went, he took six prizes with Iron Hands in two turns anyways, but yeah. The future box player did win because he went knockout, damaged Goldengo with Amp, and then killed the Palkia V-Star for a game. So he just took three prizes back to back. Which I feel like is the way that future box beats, um, it's the way future box wins, right? You just do back to back, can't be very much. An entire format, whoever alter creation first. Yeah, the ADP meta was wild, dude. There's a reason why it's considered the worst era of the TCG. Only downside of Squawk is that it can get sniped by Screamtail. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's the thing. All these like all these like support Pokemon like Squawkabilly, they're balanced because they're so squishy. Because you can like they're so easy to KO. That's what makes them balanced. Even though like you could argue cards like Squawkabilly and Dedenne are bad for the game, but they're balanced by being very easy to KO, which like makes it a bit more safer. Squawk is that, yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody liked ADP rotating. Yo, what's up? What's up? How we doing, JSLob? How we doing? Welcome out to the stream. We are watching the Champions League right now. We are, I don't know what round we're on. We're on round 13, right? Yeah, round 13. We're on round 13. No, wait. No, round 12, right? No, round 13. Yeah, round 13. ADP VMAX? Bro, that'd be toxic. ADP Amazing Rare Rainbow? Yeah, that's kind of... The one thing I did like about ADP, you could literally play ADP with, like, any random card, and it would actually be good. Like, I I've done videos on, like, ADP Night March before, because, like, that actually works. You yeah, that was... the only. That's the only thing I'll say ADP, like, was ever good for. I thought the card was bad for the game, but it was actually, like, fine if you wanted to play it as a meme. It's like a... It's a fun meme deck. It could, it could be a meme deck. That's the best way to put it. 
Arceus Dialga and Palkia universe. Yo, imagine ADP gets reprinted. ADP and Mad Party, yeah. Those I miss I miss Mad Party. Where's this being streamed? Uh what's the channel called? I uh, I don't know the channel name. Can I translate? I don't know the channel name. I if you look up um you can like look up the the name here. You can look up like CL2024. Go to like live or whatever and like today you can probably find it. The Champions League title should be in the it should be in the title of the video. So you, if you want to like look that up, you can probably find it. Squawk is the best design card of the draw six. It is, it is. Yeah, it is, it is. I would argue Crobat was the best design card, but Squawk ability is close. Yeah, Squawk's pretty bad. I mean, able to use it on your first turn only does make it balanced. Yeah. Yeah, no ADP, bro. Everyone hates ADP. The Luke Metal player. Luke Metal was, yeah. I didn't like Luke Metal either. I thought Luke Metal was bad. Luke Metal wasn't as bad as ADP, though. The deck the deck was definitely, like, good, but I don't think it was, like, ADP levels of bad. I don't know. Luke, Luke Metal didn't ruin the game. I guess if ADP didn't exist, Luke Metal would have been, like, the second like the, the second in command. So it would have been the ADP of the format if ADP never existed, but... I never, I, I, Luke Metal was annoying, but I, I never was, like, that bad. I don't know. I never, I never found Luke Metal, like, as bad. Like, it, it used, it, it wasn't the funnest deck to play against. Like, I, it wasn't very fun to play against because it was kind of boring and it was so tanky, but it wasn't that bad. It, it wasn't, as, it wasn't ADP levels of bad. Like, maybe if Luke Metal was, if ADP didn't exist, Luke Metal would be ADP, but I don't think Luke Metal was, like, ADP levels of bad. What's going on? That's funny. How we doing? Welcome out. We are watching the Champions League. Yo, what's this? Yo, is this Guardy? Yo, we got Guardy on stream, bro. Guardy versus Charizard. Let's go, baby. To be fair, the Guardy player did prize two capes, which actually kind of sucks. That's like in best of one, bro. Oh, God. That's not good. Yo, prizing two capes in best of one actually sucks. That's actually so bad. Okay, to be fair, the, the giant cape is, like, close to the bottom of the prizes, so he should take that soon, but, yeah, that sucks. The shiny drift, the bling. Well, he's got the gold. He had the gold cape, too, the luxurious cape, bro. That's sick. Yeah, I'm kind of hyped now. I kind of want to see the, uh, I want to see the, the Charizard deck. I, I want to see Charizard lose, obviously. I want to see Guardy beat Charizard. What's that? Manaphy? Drawn to the capes? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the cape, thankfully, is the first prize card he'll, or the second prize card he'll take. Is there even a Pokemon that can one-shot Charizard in the Gardevoir deck, though? I'm not sure. Because he literally prized two capes. How does he one-shot Charizard? Hmm. I wonder if his opponent knows he's playing Gardevoir. What if the opponent, like, gets greedy and discards the Lost Vacuums? Because, like, that's, like, the only card I can think of that, like, probably beats the Guardi deck is Lost Vacuum. You can, like... They'll go, like, Screamtail, Driftloon, and you just, like, vacuum, knock it out, and then, like, Boss Gardevoir EX. Take, like, three prizes in one turn. Mimikyu EX with Bravery Charm? Mimikyu with Bravery Charm? But Mimikyu is weak to Dark, though. You don't want to use that. I, I mean, I don't know what the list looks like, but we'll see. Shampao will be good? Shampao is very good in the rotation, yeah. Why don't you have those angles for the TCG regionals in the U.S.? That's what I'm wondering, bro. They got to step up the game, bro. I mean, to be fair... Honestly, it is kind of hard to it is it is hard to make the Pokemon TCG look appealing to watch. I'm not gonna lie, it is it's not easy to do. Mimikyu loses to Grafiai, bro. Facts. Drifloon. Yeah, Drifloon needs a cape though, but the the guy prized two of his capes. I imagine he plays two luxurious cape though. I don't think he plays one. I think if he plays two, his Prather might be good. Yeah. U.S. is trash. I don't think... I, I'm fine with the streams that we have over in America. I don't think the TPCI streams here are bad, but... It's just... It is hard to make the TCG actually look engaging. I'm not gonna lie. It's like... Compared to VGC... Because there's nothing... There's nothing happening. Like, you... you there's nothing happening. It's just... It's just... It's a card game. Like, there's no... There's no, like... There's no action. There, it's not... It, it, I can see why it's like people would rather watch VGC over TCG. Like... At least TCG Live... It's actually, like, you can watch TCG Live and not get bored. Or TCGO. Like, you, you can watch those and not get bored. Oh, he has Mimikyu in the deck. Okay, if he, like, uses the baby Mimikyu 
Doesn't put a guard. Well, so, yeah, if you go, like, Baby Mimikyu, don't put Guardy EX in play, you can probably do something. Because, like, yeah, as the Guardy player, you probably just want to take... Knowing that you prize two capes, you want to make sure that you can take two prizes. And then you go 2-2... Two, two, you just go 2-2-2 two, two, two for game. You take your capes, and you go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You fall asleep watching IRL? It is boring, yeah. Like... I, I feel like I feel like that's probably why the TCG is smaller than VGC is because like it's hard to make it an engaging enough game to watch. You're watching both these new yo bros doing it all at once. Knowledgeable of the format and the decks, it is entertaining, yeah. But that's the problem though for the casual viewer, for somebody who's just getting into the game, it's like it's it's a, it's probably like like if I'm a new player and I'm looking at this, I'm like, what am I looking at? Or like it, there's no action, you know. It's just it, there's no action. The new VIP is good in Lost Tina. Yeah, I think Lost Tina will have to play it because you have to get Comfies in play. Guzma and Hala made ADP ridiculously consistent. Yeah, when then when we got Energy Switch and Metal Saucer, yeah, then that then the deck got even better. Yo, what's up, Crowlock? How we doing? Welcome up to the stream. Pokiga CH. Okay, that's what the way. Okay, that's cool, cool. All right, thank you, thank you, new name. You step it up like Tricky Gym with graphics. Yeah, but I've I've watched Mahone's videos. And he does, I mean, Pig Shepherd, his editor, does a really good job with the edits. But again, there's only so many things you can do. So it's like, I don't know. The TCG should probably take from Mahone's book and kind of do what he does and do the same thing. Like have the actions on the stream for sure. TBCI 100% should take a page out of Mahone's book. But it's just, it's hard to make the TCG engaging to watch. It's like, it's just kind of a fact. It's just. There's just no other way around it. The TCG can just... It's, it's hard to make it interesting to watch. The anime of the TCG, it'll be Yu-Gi-Oh! Bro, they could do... They could do that, though. You went 3-0 for the first time at Locals? Yo, congrats. What were you playing, Crowlock? I don't watch Tricky Jim's GLC battles. Boring to me. Well, GLC's not for everyone, though. Um, they need to add GLC, though, back to live. The problem is that it's live. I would argue that TCG Live is better to watch than... Than IRL play. The Pal World TCG, you'll imagine. Do you think Moon will be okay after the rotation? Uh, I think Single Prize Roaring Moon is a better deck. Currently, I think it's better, but I think Roaring Moon EX is still going to be fine. It does lose a lot of its, like, turn one pop-off potential. No way IRL is better. Well, honestly, you'll get wrecked. I don't know, though, because, like, as a, as, a, as a casual new player, I feel like a casual new player would probably be more invested in live than in TCG IRL. That's my opinion. Exactly, Pocket. I mean, live is not the greatest game ever, but at least, like, at least it's, like, it's watchable. Or, like, it's entertaining. Like, somebody who's new to the game can watch live and know what's going on. The 4 0? Oh, yo, nice. The best decks in rotation? Uh, Charizard, Chimpao, Goldengo are, like, three of the best decks right now. Turbo Moon with Darkrai? Yeah, nice, nice. Do I like beans? Beans are decent, yeah. Live is buggy. I mean, live's not a perfect client, obviously. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have to. I play live every day, right? Because it's my job. Live's like it's grown on me. Like I'm, I'm no longer at the point where I'm like, why? Well, I never really was at that point. But like, I'm no, I'm not, I'm not at a point where I'm like dreading playing live. Like I don't really. If I have to wake up every day to play the game, I don't really care. Like I'm fine with it. Like the game's, it's not as good as TCGO was. I'd still rather be playing TCGO, but I'm like, I can stand. I can stand live. Like, I actually enjoy the game. Goldango's tier 4 right now? Right now, it's probably, like, tier 3, but yeah. Post-rotation, it's probably tier 2. You main Shampao, so you're excited for rotation? Yeah, Shampao, it's one of the only decks that I think has, like, a good Zard matchup. It really sucks that the... I mean, the Guardi deck does have Bravery Charm, though, but he discarded it, though, so it's like, now it's gone. And the Charizard player... But Charizard is so cheesy, bro. It's so cheesy. We'll see what the uh, we'll see what the Zard player can do. Yo, is that? Yo, it's Bibberol and Pidgey on the same deck. All right, I like it. The client does suck for the online tourneys. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever get another Players Cup ever again on live. That's probably never gonna happen. I don't ever see us get another Players Cup. He's Joe isn't perfect, but live is definitely lacking. It is, yeah. New card reveals in, like, two hours? Yeah, yeah, I'm excited, yeah. I'm not sure I'll be streaming the new card reveals, but I'm gonna, like, as soon as they get revealed, and, like, 
the translations are up on Poke Beach. I'm like, there's probably there's gonna be a video on the second channel tonight. Like, I am going to stay up and literally do that. Yo, Sebastian with a five dollar donation. Will Lost Tanner be okay now that path is rotating? Uh, thank you for the donation there. Um, yeah, I do think that Tina. I think Lost Tina still is okay in rotation. I don't think it's bad at all. It does lose path, which hurts it, but I think the deck is still playable. Because you still, like, I actually think you get Maximum Belt, which actually now lets you, Maximum Belt lets Giratina knock out two Charizards. You can go Maximum Belt one Charizard, and then start Requiem a second one. So it actually, the deck's like, I think the deck's okay still. Gir Giratina Lost Zone reminds me of, like, Giratina and Guardi both remind me of Lugia in the rotation. Where Lugia was really good before rotation. Rotation happened, then Lugia got worse, but it still, like, still was a good deck. Like, I think... I think Giratina will be Lugia. I didn't, maybe not Gardevoir. Gardevoir probably won't be as good as Lugia ever was rotation, but it'll be, like, similar effect. They're revealing them on this stream. I know, Get Wrecked. I know, I know. Well, when they reveal them, though, I want to get a video out on them. But, like, I guess, like, the Pokebee translations usually take, like, half an hour to come out. All about the Crisis Punch cram combo. Crisis Punch is sick. Yeah, Cloth's pretty fun. Cloth's pretty fun. I don't think Sinchino's that bad. I mean, it's good. I still think that Lugia just is kind of a mid-tier deck. Zero or VMAX never played? Uh, VMAXs are just kind of slow right now, I think. Yeah. V One of my issues with Zero Aura, it doesn't really do anything that, like, other cards can. It's not a bad card, don't get me wrong, but... It's just, like, it's one of those cards that probably just... It just loses, like, Zero Aura just loses to Maridon. Not actually, it beats Maridon. It loses to, like, Ruin Moon and stuff. Like, Shen Pao, Ruin Moon probably loses to Charizard, depending on the scenario. Charizard can trade really well into three prizers, I think. Gengar EX? Uh, it's not that great, unfortunately. Giratina and Guardi still has a chance. The deck that is in trouble is Maridon. Maridon definitely is going to get a lot worse. I do think Maridon is actually just going to, like, not fall off. But I think Rotation, Maridon is going to be, like, just kind of a mid-deck. Like, it's probably just going to be, like, it's just going to be mid. It'll literally be mid-Rhydon. Like, I, I think the Iron Hands deck we just watched is probably just going to be better than Maridon at that point. Is uh, choosing to take Mulligans to have a bad hand? I've seen talks of that in the TCG. That would be interesting to incorporate. Because there's, you'll think of that fall there, Kraken. There's been a lot of times where, like, the TCG has had, um... Like, you get bad hands, and you're like, well... Like, literally, games are decided in Pokemon whether or not your hand is actually good or not. So, like, yeah. I don't think that'd be a bad incorporation into the TCG. Appreciate that, Gabrungus. What's up? Welcome out to the stream. We're watching... You'll appreciate the follow there, Pringle. I'm not, I don't have any audio right now, so I, I, if I, I'm, I apologize if I missed any other follows earlier on in the stream. Is Path of Radiant Zard being resolved on TCG? I think on the new on the new update that's on Tuesday, I might get fixed. I'm not sure. Our Gujar's a good deck. I think it's fine in the rotation. I think it's good, yeah. All right. So the Guardi player, Gu bro, Gar uh, I think the game's just over, dude. How does the how does the Guardi player win? I guess. Well, if the Charizard player's out of boss, I guess there's a chance the Guardi player can win with his Mimikyu. There's no way one Mimikyu is gonna beat. Charizard though. There's no way. I think this game's just is this game just over? Maridon spread, yo, leak the sauce. Good players can call a bad hand well according to line. <laughs> Arc piles are okay after rotation. Arc piles are fine, yeah. Arc piles Arc piles get better because of VIP rotating. So like stuff like Moon and Maridon get a lot worse. So, like you don't have to worry about getting like turn one donked as easily. That's that's my logic. And Arceus getting maximum belt is just dirty. That's like a really good card for Arceus. The channel has been a huge help. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, Pringle, glad to hear. Glad to hear. The Mimikyu Miracle. It has to be a Mimikyu Miracle, yeah. I, I think that, like... If the Charizard player just has, like, Radiant Zard, there's no way that the Guardi player can win. I mean, okay, the Charizard player's probably out of boss. I imagine there's no boss left. So, we'll see if they're playing Prime Catcher or not. Yeah, there's Radiant Zard in the deck. You can't beat the Radiant Zard, right? You can't beat the Radiant Zard. 
King Lou in rotation? Uh, I haven't seen any list yet, but like, I don't think it's... I don't know, it might be okay. I don't know if it really gains any new cards, though, with Temporal Forces, other than like an Ace spec. Don't blame the hand. Yeah, don't blame the hand, bro. Blame the RNG. The most horrible deck that is in the format? Horrible? Wait, do you mean horrible is in like bad for the game or like just like a bad deck? There's not really a horrible bad deck. There's not, there isn't really, a, there's no way to define a deck like that. Shuffle in Japan would not fly your tournaments. Zard playing Max Belt? Yeah. Well, yeah, most Zard lists are playing either Maximum Belt or Prime Catcher. I think Maximum Belt is the correct way to play Charizard, but I can see why Prime Catcher is good too. Like, bad for the game? Uh, bad deck for the game? Charizard? Probably. That Char it's just a boring, it's just a boring OP deck. I think Rotation, Charizard, but... I don't know, like, you could debate Lost Box, but I, now that we have Jirachi, you can't really complain about Lost Box anymore. I actually, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, Chad, Lost Box has grown on me quite a bit. I actually really enjoy playing Lost Zone decks. Because, like, Sableye's not really a problem anymore. Sableye sucks, to be honest. Sableye sucks. But, like, I don't know, I feel like Lost Box is, like, not... The only thing that's toxic about it is, like, the turns take long. But who cares, bro? The argument that opponent's turns take a long time, I don't think is, like, a valid argument for a, bad, a deck being toxic for the game. any Anybody's turn can be long. Like, Charizard and Arceus probably have short turns, but, like, I don't think that, like, judges how a deck is toxic. Blastoise CX. Blastoise CX could be playable. Um, it can play Neo Up Energy, the new A-Spec um, energy card. It could probably play Prime Catcher, Maximum Belt 2, to be honest. You can one-shot Charizard EX. And I understand the meta shifts constantly, and there'll always be that one deck. There always will be. Rotation, Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp rotation maybe is okay. I don't know. It, it's too early to tell because there's, there's no, like, results yet. Like, we had Garchomp's not on a stream. Like, I don't know if it's, like, doing good in the tournament. The pacing for Lost Box, some players take it too far too long to decide. Yeah, but that's that's how Lost Box plays, though. I personally, I'm good at playing Lost Box. So, like, I can, I play fast. I try to play fast when I play the deck. Like, I'm very good at making decisions when I do flower select and stuff. But, like... I mean, that's how, that's how the deck plays, though. You you usually, you just have long turns. I mean, I get it. It's boring. But, like, at the same time, though, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's always been decks in the format, whether they've been Gardevoir, Lost Box, even, like, ADP. ADP, ADP pre-rotation always had, always had long turns because even though the deck was, like, very quick at winning the game, it always had a long turn because it always had that turn where when, like, Dedenne, Crobat, Research, you know, stuff like that. What's up, Mega? How we doing? Good morning, good morning. We're watching the Champions League right now. We're on round 13, watching Guardi versus Charizard, and I think that's the game, right? Did, does that, wait. Yeah, Zard win. Yep, Zard wins. That was a bit of a wash. That sucks. Those are pretty bad prizes, though, for the Guardi player. They prize, like, half their capes and stuff. Like, how are they going to one-shot the Zard? That kind of sucks. F in the chat for Guardi, bro. For Alligator is genuinely, like, a, I think it's actually, like, a decent deck. I don't think For Alligator is bad at all. <laughs> you have the Vietnam memes. That's ADP. Imagine TC Live had an option to play test cards from upcoming sets. I don't know if they could ever do that. Because, like, they, they have to code the card. Like, every time there's an update before a set release, that's that's usually when they code the cards and add them. So, like, they can't. I don't think they could ever really do that. The one thing that I've considered before, like, I, I don't... I haven't recommended this to TCG before, like the Pokemon company, but I, I think it'd be cool. So Call of Duty, call I don't know if they still do this, but back in the day, Call of Duty, before a DLC came out, they would fly a bunch of the COD YouTubers out to play the game early and get footage with the new the new maps and the new weapons and stuff. And then they can upload it. Like, a, like you know how like Pokemon sends us product to open up early? Same thing. But imagine if they did that, but they gave our content creator accounts... They gave us access to the new cards a day or two early to post early gameplay with them. That would be kind of cool, actually. I don't know how they could do that, but that, that could be a way to hype up the game. Instead of giving us, like, product early, which there's nothing wrong. I think that's still obviously, like, good because you still promote the game. But that'd also be kind of cool, though. Like, if, if Pokemon gave us it gave every content creator access to the new cards, like, a day or two early, that'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. I don't know if they would ever do that, but that, that would be cool. That would hype the game up. 
Casual tournament with Arbok? Yo, nice. I got to do an updated video on Arbok, to be honest. Arbok with Roaring Moon? Yo, question mark? That could be cool. Would Arbok, Roaring Moon be good, Chad? Would there be any synergy there? Yeah, Rodon V is really good. I agree. <laughs> yeah, the Zard player won. Let's go. Round 13. LDF providing a dub on this tournament is legendary. Yo, what's up? How we doing? What's up? I smell like pennies. You, I smell like pennies? What? What's pennies? Pokemon realized people were getting back into playing IRL, so they made cards like Zard and Mew. I would argue, well, I don't think Mew's easy to play. Zard's easy to play. Zard, dude, the, I was at my, my uh, locals last night, and it was the free week, right? So you get more, like, newer players. All the newer players I saw last night were all playing Charizard. And I'm like, well, no surprise. Charizard's just, it's, it's just easy to play. It's just you evolve and boss, rare candy, Pidgeot, grab boss, GG's. Zard, I think Zard is like the most obvious example of Pokemon catering to a newer player. Because obviously, Charizard is the most popular Pokemon. If I'm a newer player getting into the TCG, and I know that, and I see that Charizard EX is the best deck in the format, and it's also easy to play, bro, why? I'm going to buy Charizard, bro. And that, that's why Pokemon make like nine versions of Charizard EX. That's why there's like nine nine non nine artworks of it. So yeah. Nice hoodie. You'll appreciate that. The best card in Temporal Forces? Probably. Uh probably. Probably Maxim Belter Prime Catcher, to be honest. If we're talking EXs, currently, I think the best EX from Temporal Forces is probably um Raging Bolt, maybe. The best one prize attacker probably is the baby Roaring Moon. I think baby Roaring Moon is really good. Zard for three or four? Well, I think the problem with Charizard is it accelerates energy to itself. That's the problem with Charizard. Its ability is... I think if Charizard didn't have that ability, it wouldn't be... Like, it wouldn't be It wouldn't be that bad. I just... I, I think Charizard... It, it just reminds me a lot of Mew, bro. They, like... They, they didn't have to give it so much... They didn't have to give it so much attack or power. I will be at Orlando, yes. I did register for Orlando. I will be in attendance at Orlando, hopefully. Boring Moon. True. Arbok, Bibro, Marpeko. Ooh, Marpeko's not a bad idea, actually. I kind of like that. You can use Marpeko to take a knockout and then move the energy to Ekans. I actually like that idea. I like it. Arbok doesn't work at all with Roaring Moon. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's probably no synergy between the two. That's a good point. Gouging Fire? I think Gouging Fire is very good. I think it's a very underrated card right now. I did a video, like, on my second channel looking at gouging fire decks there wasn't that many of them and i was like bro how's there how's there like seven gouging fire decks this card is clearly good i think gouging fire is literally i think it's good with iron valley that if i when i when not if when i do a video on iron valley or gouging fire the first thing i'm doing gouging fire iron valley raging bolt and the shem pow no there's not enough you don't have energy acceleration for both of those Yeah, sounds good, Seabass. The Incineroar and Zard deck with Spice. Yeah, I think Incineroar, Incineroar and Gouging Fire, I think are actually both, like, good cards. Like, I think those are both really good. Literally only Zard uh, typing that makes a mad fire type. Would, would it still be meta? It would probably still be meta if it was a fire type. It, it's just, it, the attack and the ability are just so good. They Bro, they could have made it a metal type and it would have been good. I don't know. They could have made it a grass type and it would have been good. Walking Wake? Walking Wake's interesting, yeah. Gyarados EX? Uh, Gyarados, it's fine. It's alright. Um, it's okay. Yo, Gyarados, Palkia, Iron Valiant? Yo, Chad, am I cooking up a video idea on the spot? Gyarados videos do really well on the channel. People like watching Gyarados EX. I be down, bro. Gyarados, Iron Valiant, bro. I kind of like that idea, actually. Okay, maybe not Rogue Trainer. Maybe not. You're probably right. But, like, I don't know. I agree, Ender. I like Scizor. Great Chest Mill is good, yeah. Yeah, Incineroar. I think Incineroar is just a deck that nobody's figured out the 60. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Nobody's figured out a 60 for Great Chest. Or for Incineroar. Great Chest Mill's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think I think Great Chest Mill's pretty good. The first Terra type raid in Scarlet Vile was a Dark type Zard. Yeah. You played Maridon for a while, but I want to play something Rogue. Uh, the best rogue deck right now is probably Zorobox, to be honest. 
Yeah, somebody came up to me and was like, LDF, what's a rogue deck that you can play that you wouldn't usually see? I would just say Zorobox, bro. It's a good deck. I think Zorobox is good. As long as you as long as you dodge Avery, Zorobox is great. I think it beats almost anything. Except for Um Zorobox loses to decks that play it play loses to Snorlax and Avery. I'm down, Slick. I I think it's a video idea. I need bro, I need how many video ideas? How many days? Let me let me look at the calendar real quick. How many days until the 23rd of March? Uh, we got one week, two week, three week, four, three. Bro, we have like five weeks still. We have over a month until the new set release. The new set comes out on the 21st on TCG Live, right? Yeah, it'll come out on the on the 21st on Live. So we're still two, three. Yeah, we're still like five weeks away. Bro, we need. I need five weeks worth of content. United Wings is BDIF. I wish. If only Iron Hands didn't exist. If Iron Hands didn't exist, I think United Wings actually would be a deck. Because you can play Jirachi now for Sableye. Delphox's best rogue deck confirmed. Delphox. Am I from Texas? I am not. I'm from Canada. I was uh, I was visiting Atlanta last month. That's why I have the, uh, the Bucky's hoodie. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was visiting Atlanta last month. Or this month. Was it, like, it was like two weeks ago. I was, I was in Atlanta visiting my friend, and then we drove up to Knoxville. And I got a Bucky's hoodie because we stopped at Bucky's on the way. Toad School is BDIF. Toad School is definitely decent. I would not play Snorlax, no. I said that about Mew, and I ended up playing Mew to San Antonio. I was Mew's number one hater back in the Mew era, but, like, I ended up playing it. But to be fair, I... I'm I'm Charizard's number one hater, but I've played Charizard before. I've played it I've played it multiple times and done well with it. Like I've won a league challenge with Charizard. It's not a hard deck to play, but I don't think I can ever I don't think I'd ever play Snorlax, dude. It's just not a deck for me. Like it's just not a like I'm sure if I learned the deck I can probably play it and do well with it. But like I just don't think I would ever it's not a deck I would I just wouldn't enjoy playing it. I just wouldn't have fun. It's just I don't know. It just wouldn't be fun in my I don't know. I just wouldn't have fun playing it. Yo, Charizard V Star? Yo, they're leaking, bro. Mew didn't leave us no choice but to play with LDF. True, true. But to be fair, Mew for San Antonio, not only was it a bad meta call. Actually, the meta call was fine, but the deck was obviously no longer as good as it used to be. Yeah, Reggie's, Reggie's, uh, Reggie's, yeah, rip Reggie's. It definitely could have been a good deck for sure. The new Snorlax with Shiyu and Mantike seems to make it a bit more fun to play. Yeah, the Mantike and uh, Shiyu. Yeah. But I don't see myself ever playing Snorlax. If I ever... Bro, Chad, if I ever did a video... Yeah, sounds good. So, like, if I ever did a video on Snorlax, I guarantee you, bro, it would just... It would get a lot of hate because people don't want to watch it. I don't think that... The Snorlax video, if I title it, I would probably get... I could probably title it and the video would perform fine. But the comments would be just negative. It would just be people like, bro, why would you upload this, dude? I can't believe it. Like, I, I've posted videos on control decks before, but, like, those are, like, unique rogue deck or unique control decks. Like, stuff that are, like, you've never seen before. Snorlax is, like, everybody hates that deck. Like, if, I'm, if I post a video on, like, Floatzel Control tomorrow, I don't think the video would get hate because, like, no one, like, you don't play against that deck that much. Snorlax would just, like, I would upload a video on Snorlax and, like, the video would just, like, people would just be like, I'm unsubbing, dude. You played Snorlax. I'm like, bro, what am I, what am I supposed to do? Bird control? Yeah, Pidgeotto Snorlax. Yeah, I think Guja is going to come back with the new set. I think Guja, Guja will come back with the new set for sure. Yeah, Bucky's is lit. Speaking of in our future box, which is the one of the reasons you're excited for that deck. Yeah, they're bringing back all the new, all the old archetypes from the black and white era. Future box is, future box is Vespaquin. Future box is Vespaquin. No, wait, what am I saying? Ancient box is Vespaquin. And future box is uh, TDK. Yo, what up, kid? How we doing? What's going on? What's going on? We are doing a watch party for the Champions League right now. We're just chatting. I haven't done a watch party before. It's kind of fun just sitting here chatting. You'll appreciate the follow there, Rude Awaken. I might have missed any follows. Chat, again, I do apologize. I don't, I don't have no audio right now, so. I do not do coaching. Um, I just... The reason I don't do coaching is I just don't have one. I don't have time. Um, two, I just I just don't want to. I think you can get coaching from just other people. Like there's just 
it's also extremely saturated right now. Coaching, coaching is like actually just saturated right now, which is why I don't do it. Like that, I don't, I don't want to coach. I don't have the time to coach, and it's also just ex the market's saturated right now. So it's like I don't know. There's, I just don't think there's a point. There's there's better people you can get coaching from, in my opinion. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's also like the problem with coaching is like I'm usually like a pretty busy person. So like constantly having to like make time out of my day to like book stuff, I it just like stuff gets in the way and then I don't know. I don't want to be that guy who like has to f flop on coaching clients because something comes up. Cuz something will come up. It happens a lot. That's why. Exactly new name. Exactly. Alex am to be meta. Alakazam would honestly be a decent deck if Charizard didn't exist. I think if Charizard didn't exist, maybe Roin Moon too. Then maybe. There's just too much dark in the format right now. You'd pay to get coach? No, I mean, I've, I've had a lot of people ask me to coach them before. Like, I get emails a lot about people wanting to be coached by me. But I just I just can't do it, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, I, it's like extra, I get extra money, whatever. But like, I don't, I don't know. It's just like, it's not something that I'm I'm interested in. And I just don't know if I would have the time to do coaching. That's the problem. Yeah, Great Tusk is good. I think it's a good deck. It's doing pretty good in Japan right now. Yeah, maybe we'll... I mean, I don't know if we will, but hopefully we've seen Incineroar on stream. We're in day two right now, though. And we're getting close to top cut, so... It has, there has to be one doing really good in the tournament. Am I going to Worlds? Uh, probably. If it's on how to beat certain decks? I thought about that. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say anything... Um, I don't want to, like, leak anything, but I was talking to another YouTuber recently, and we were talking about, and he, he does coaching, and we thought about the, we thought of the idea, like, he brought up the idea of, like, what do you think about, like, coaching for, like, YouTube videos? There's no, no YouTuber right now on TCGO or live does videos on coaching. Like, coaching is all, like, done privately. There's no, like, there's no video content on it. So, like. It wasn't James, no. It was somebody else. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who, just in case. I don't wanna like say anything, but I was talking to another YouTuber who wants to do coaching but wants to turn coaching into content for their YouTube channel. Which I think is a great idea for content because nobody does nobody does coaching and makes it public. Like nobody's coaching is like public knowledge. You know what I mean? Like it's all done privately. The idea of turning a coaching session into a YouTube video is genius. That's like it's content that's never been done before. It's a good idea, and it makes you more money because more people will watch the video. They want to see you get. They want to see your coaching, and then they're gonna go to your channel and get coached. That's like, it's like actually big brain, bro. It's like it's an infinite money glitch, bro. It would be free. Well, it's not. It's not like it. It's not like it would be like coaching every day. Like it's not like it would be a, a daily thing. But like a once in a while video on like a coaching session is a good idea. Like nobody posts videos of their coaching sessions. Yeah, Dan TDM. Yeah, something like that. It'd be, I guess James Cox has done a video similar to that idea. But, like, this idea would be a bit different, probably. Yeah, that's true, Flamer. Well, the, other, the problem is nobody nobody prepares for Snorlax. I So, I, so you, fun, fun story. So, yesterday at my locals, I was going to play the Gardevoir Mewtwo deck I did a video on today. Because I recorded that video yesterday, right? I recorded the Guardi video yesterday that I uploaded today. And I was going to play it to my locals because I didn't know what I was going to play to locals. I was like, I'm going to play Gardevoir Mewtwo. And I'm glad I didn't because the first round I got paired against Snorlax. And I'm like, oh, I would have just lost. Guardian Mewtwo can't beat Snorlax. And I, I was playing Maridon. I was playing Peony Maridon for for, for uh, thing. Arceus V and ho -Oh, which somehow fit in the Porygon Z. Uh, I don't know. Well, you can't put energy on the Porygon. Porygon's from the discard pile to itself. There's not really much synergy there. Porygon could be good with, like, a Pokemon that moves energy around, like Bronzong or Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge Porygon is a deck that... I might actually have that built. I, I, I'm i pretty sure I built that. I haven't, like, haven't played it yet or, like, tried it. But that could be a video idea. Yo, Slick's just giving me video ideas left, right, and center, bro. Keep it up, bro. Let's go. Yeah, Porygon, Porygon Z with Armor Rouge. There you go. I don't hate that. That's actually, that's a decent video idea right there. That's content, bro. Delphox, true, yo, Delphox. What's going on, drummer? How we doing, bro? Welcome out to the stream. You've seen our goo Vulpix deck that's been doing well post-rotation? 
I think the deck's good. Mist Energy. Mist Energy's good. Um, there's no more path in the format, so, like, if you don't Starbirth, you can use Gudra's ability. So it's kind of cool. Same thing with just Gudra in general. Gudra can play, like, Lost Zone Gudra. Lost Zone Gudra can play Mist Energy. And there's no more path, so you always get to do uh, Moisture Star. No, they're not going to ban. They're not going to ban Goldengo. Goldengo is not OP. Goldengo's good. I think it's a very good deck. It's not It's not even OP. If they're going to ban any deck, it would have to be, in my opinion, Charizard. But, like, they're not going to ban Charizard, obviously. That's never going to get banned. Charizard is a card that I dislike, but they're not going to ban it. Goldengo is nowhere near broken. There's, there, I don't think there's any card in the game that could get banned right now. Yeah, the, no, no, no. The only card that could theoretically get banned is Battle VIP Pass, but that's never going to happen because it's rotating. Kazer Tackle and Karidon? I think so. Does a lot of damage. You can start energy to it pretty easily. Coaches could get upset. I I might have missed that comment, actually. Last weekend, you played Jarek at a cup. You got to witness how to play Goldengo in person. The deck's sick, yeah. Arc Vulpix can be crazy, but post rotation is our Goldengo. Yeah, Vulpix V-Star, I mean, it's a counter deck, and it works. Honestly, yo, there's a good chance Vulpix V-Star could do well at EUIC again this year. You know, Vulpix did good at EUIC last year. Same thing can happen this year. Zard can get the Yu-Gi-Oh treatment, limit one per deck. <laughs> That'd be nice. Speaking of Vulpix, look what's on the screen right now. You can't really see it, but that's, that's Vulpix V-Star. Yo, are they going to put Vulpix on stream? By the way, Reverend Room with the Hero Escape, three rigid ban. That's a video idea I want to try. Reverend Room, okay. I've tried to do videos on Reverend Room, but, like, the card is so hard to build up. There's no there's no energy acceleration for Reverend Room. It's like I've tried to make Reverend Room work for content, but there's no way to build it up. Like, you can't, you can't build up Reverend Room, like, that well. There's no energy acceleration. When we get Matang... Matang Rev Room actually might make Rev Room playable. Cause like, yeah, I've tried Rev Room, man. There's just there's just no way to put energy on it. There's no there's no good energy cards for Rev Room right now. Like I've tried Magnezone, but like it's so slow. Cause you have to play all these tools and rare candy and like thirteen energy. It's you just can't fit all of that in one deck, making it consistent. Yeah, no escape bro. Oh, there's Prime Catcher. There's the only there's Prime Catcher, but still. Maybe they'll put Vulpix on stream. The Gengar deck that does 50 times the number of trainers in your opponent's hand? Um, I don't know if it's that good, Tylord. It's, like, the problem is Iono. You just kind of lose to Iono. I don't know what I would pair it with. That's why I did the, the Halloween video on Gengar Mimikyu with Haunter. Because, like, that's just a better deck. There's just not enough support for the Gengar, unfortunately. Metal types are struggling at the moment. Yeah, metal metal's definitely, like, the worst type in the game right now. Metal grass are, like, pretty bad. Metal and grass are, like, abysmal types right now. That's the other reason why Charizard is so good. It's because, like, all the grass Pokemon just suck. Like, Torterra EX might be the saving grace. Or not. Or Torterra sucks because Charizard can play Radiant Zard anyways, so it doesn't matter. They did Gengar bad with the X, we gave him. We don't we deserved it better. Yeah, Gengar, Gengar always has cards that are, like, interesting, but never, like... I don't know. Last time we got a good Gengar card was Gengar Mimikyu, and that was a broken card. But, yeah, that's true. A good Feraligator card? The new Feraligator is good, Panic. The new Feraligator we're getting in Temporal Forces is actually pretty good. Could be a good Grass Tacker. Will that get revealed tonight? I've heard rumors that people are going to say that's going to get revealed tonight. In the, uh, the, the Ursa Luna thing. Yeah, Gengar VMAX was good. Gengar VMAX actually was a good deck. It was like, it was good. It was good. It It was good when it came out, and it was good during the Brilliant Stars format. I mean, Gengar, Gengar fell off over time, but it, it was good at one point. So yeah, Geng Gengar VMAX does count. That's true. That's a, That was another good Gengar card. True that. I forgot that card existed. Hopefully, Tammy. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. The problem, the, the only problem with making grass Pokemon, though, is that, like, Charizard just plays Radiant Charizard, so it's like, it's really hard for Grass decks to even beat Charizard still. Yeah, I uh, definitely want to try it, Yudis. There's, I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna do a video on every V-Union, and then I might do a video on that Arceus triple V-Union deck one last time before it rotates. The thing about Grass is it has to everything be a good type or no good attackers. Basically, yeah. What'd you miss? Uh, not much, Stuart. We, uh... We've watched two rounds. We watched Future Box versus Goldengo and then Guardi versus Charizard. 
Future Box be Goldengo. And then Charizard be Gardevoir. And we're just waiting on round 14 right now. Arc V Union, that sounds bricky. Now nah, the the triple the triple V Union Arceus deck is actually not that bad. I don't know if it's good right now because like Roaring Moon kind of just destroys you, but yo, Wax Job, 17 a month tier one sub. Thank you, Wax. Yeah, future box is gonna be good. That's one thing, bro. March cannot get here any clue sooner, bro. March needs to hurry up and get here, bro. Imagine if March I don't I don't I really hate how TBCI are like making us wait until the end of March for the new set, but dude, March cannot get here any quicker. Yeah, thank you, Wax Job. What's up? Maybe a deck with the evolution. I am I am gonna be doing videos on uh, the Evolution V Maxes. Yeah, I do have that. I do have that in mind for content. That is gonna be a video that I'm gonna do at some point. An Evolution V Max deck. Yeah. Maybe not all the Evolution V Maxes in one deck, because like uh, V Max are just kind of dated right now. I think like that deck just can't beat Roaring Moon. But I'm gonna do a video on most of the Evolution V Maxes. I, I already have ideas in mind for Vaporeon, Jolteon. I'll do Flareon again. Sylveon. Sylveon. Sylveon will be a fun one to do again. Umbreon VMAX. Me. I don't even know if I can do Umbreon. Maybe I'll try to do Umbreon. I am going to do send off. I always do that near the end of the format as I do send off content for stuff that's leaving the game. March is your birthday month? Bro's about to have a good month. Would I do that against Goldengo? I want Temporal Forces now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Dude, Japan's lucky, bro. They get to play the cards early. Jarter starters getting the X-Terrors? That'd be nice. The Johto starters don't usually get a whole lot of love. I'm not going to lie. We've had playable Typhlosions and Meganiums, but, like, I feel like the Johto starters are always, like, sidelined. Actually, Unova. Unova starters usually get cucked the hardest. The Unova starters usually get, like, pretty bad. Like, we've had a good Emboar before. We've had a really good Emboar, but, like, we've never really had a good Samurai, and we've never really had a good Superior. But we've had a good... We've had, like, mildly playable Superiors, but, like, Emboar's been the only good card. History, yeah, but Samurai, Samurai's never been, like, meta, though. Unova doing really bad. Yeah, Unova... They don't like Unova for some reason. That is true, Panic. Yes, that is true. But if we're being realistic here, um, like we've had we've had some pretty good cards for like Hoenn. Hoenn's had some good cards before. We've had good Sceptiles. We've had good Blazikins. We've had actually we haven't no we've had good Swampers. There's been there's been good Swampers. Johto. We've had like we've had playable Meganiums and Typhlosions and Fraligators, but like Unova definitely gets just cucked, dude. Like actually cucked. We've had. We've had one playable Emboar card, and that was, like, a decade ago. And then we've had, um, we've had some playable Superior. Superior V-Star, the Superior that heals 10 damage every turn is pretty, like, that saw some play back in the day. But, like, it was never, like, a good, like, that good. And Samurai, I don't think we've ever had, like, a competitive Samurai card be that good. No, I know, Panic, same here. Pokemon love Charizard, bro. It prints some money. Bro found the infinite money glitch. I love Unova. Unova is one of my favorite generations. There's a lot of Pokemon in there that I like. I mean, we've had good Unova cards. Like, we've had good Chandelures, good Vanelluxes. We've had broken Garbodors. Garbodors have been insane. It's one of the best Pokemon we've ever seen printed a card. We've had good Zekroms, good Reshirams. Uh, we've had good Kyrams. Kyrams have been pretty good before. Uh, Black Kyram was pretty good. Um. What other Unova Pokemon exists that have been good? I'm like drawing a blank. I'm trying to think of all the Unova Pokemon. We've had we've had Substrikas be playable before. I don't know. I'm trying to think. We've had good Genesects. Yes, Genesect has been very good. We've had like three good Genesects. Can they serve alcohol at play events? Uh that's a good question. That's actually interesting. I have never heard that before. I'm going to say no, because you shouldn't be allowed to drink alcohol when you're playing a game. No, I would say no. You, that's probably not allowed. No. 
I've never, I've, that's interesting. A bar in a TCG card shop. And if you're at a League Cup or a League Challenge, you probably should not be allowed to serve alcohol. Even if obviously you're of age, you shouldn't be allowed to drink alcohol at a sanctioned event. Even if it's a League Cup, that's probably not allowed. Yeah, no, that's probably not allowed. Because obviously you're not allowed to drink alcohol at like regionals. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What Justin said. Yeah, I, I'm going to say no. Yeah, you're, you're probably not allowed to drink alcohol. No. Playing Lost Box while drunk would be wild. Playing, yo, playing Charizard while drunk. A good Zekrom that could work with Maridon. True. I mean, we've had, I mean, we just had a, we just had a good Zekrom too. We just had the uh, Paralyzed one from Vivid Voltage. That was like good near the end of the Lugia format. But yeah, no, we've had a lot of good Zekroms before. Zekrom and Reshiram have had good cards. Um, Pika Rom's another good one. Zoroark, yes. So Unova, okay, I'm not going to lie, bro. Pokemon have given Unova a lot of love before. There have been some pretty good Unova Pokemon before. Cards on the floor drinking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed alcohol at events. That's, I've never heard that before. A bar in a, in a card shop. One of the leagues here in San Antonio shut down the store. Um... It was tied to got a liquor license. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine that's just not allowed, obviously. Like, you're allowed to, like, have, like, pop and stuff and energy drinks, but you're not allowed to, like, serve alcohol, yeah. That's obviously, like, not allowed, yeah. Yeah, if I was a, if I was a card shop with a bar, I would probably just remove the bar. Assuming you make more money selling Pokemon cards than having a bar. But, like... Does anybody go to a bar when there's a card shop? I feel like the casual bar goer doesn't go to the bar because there's a card shop there. I don't know. That just feels like most people that go to the bar probably don't think Pokemon is cool. I don't know, like the average the average bar the average bar bro probably doesn't go to the bar and is like, I'm gonna play some Pokemon or Magic or whatever. If you're making more money selling cards and stuff like that, I would just close the bar and just expand your expand your play area. Cause like yeah, you're not allowed to serve alcohol anyways. You can just get like you can get in massive trouble for that. Crocodile, honestly, bro, we're due for a good Crocodile. Crocodile is an awesome Pokemon. Alcohol sells. True. Probably, I don't know. Alcohol probably sells more than Pokemon cards, but I don't know. That's yeah, true, Justin. <laughs> you go to the bar after your league? I mean, I've done that too. I've gone to the bar after, like, the regionals and stuff, but, like, yeah. We go to the bar after every event. True. But I'm, I'm saying, like, the average person who doesn't play a card game going to the bar, wouldn't that be weird to go to a bar and then, like, unless, like, the bar is on the other side and you can't see the card shop, wouldn't that be kind of, I don't know, that, that would be kind of weird. I don't know. Yo, what up, Rickster? What's going on, bro? Yeah, what's up, bro? We're doing a watch party for the, the Champions League. What's going on, dude? Yeah, when you play, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. But yeah, if you if you bring alcohol to a regionals or like a league cup or something, you obviously you can if if you can get DQ'd, probably banned. To be honest, if you got caught drinking alcohol at a sanctioned event, you probably just immediately get you just get banned from the game. And then, if you're selling alcohol on the premises, as a card shop, you probably also just get completely just banned from the game. Yo, how'd you do? How'd you do, Rickster? Who won? Who won? Are the standings on Twitter? Now nah, I'm curious. Let's keep it on the low. Well, I mean, if you get caught, you're just kind of screwed. Well, the problem is, if you're if you're drinking alcohol, like, I don't know. Let's say you bring like a Stanley Cup or something to a regional, and you have alcohol in it, you're probably gonna get caught because people are gonna smell the alcohol off you. So it's like you can't. There's nothing you can do. Just you just get you'll get immediately like just banned from the game. Yeah, you you probably you would just literally you'd probably just get it. You just you probably get banned. You you would probably get a lifetime ban. Like I don't think there's a you. There's no arguing that you would just you, you'd get a you'd get a lifetime ban probably. Like you can get caught cheating, doing whatever. But if you're drinking alcohol at a tournament and you get caught, yeah, you're probably you just lifetime ban, and that's pretty fair because it's obviously against the rules. Like very strictly against the rules. Like that's like on depending on the situation, you could probably get like in trouble by like the the police for that. I don't know. It's 
Just, just get stitches. Well, someone will, someone will find out. Alan on Guardy. Alan won. Yo, I played Bibzard and got a mid three three. But I don't know, man. I bro, I don't know about Bibzard. I don't know about Bibzard, Rickster. Until rotation. Wait, how did how did everyone else do? There's a guy named Martin who was banned back in 2012 for being wasted at regionals. Really? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you get caught being drunk or drinking alcohol at a regionals. Probably just immediately get a lifetime ban. Which is very fair. Like if you're if you're chilling with your homies at your house playing cards or whatever, drinking, there's nothing wrong with that. But like if you're like at a regional, yeah. Or like a league cup, yeah, ban. Any Pierre, you need to be drunk. Jeff got second with Pidgey's already. Yo, Jeff got second, let's go. Yeah, double Devo. Yeah, yeah. What were your matchups, Rickster? You're here to party? Yeah. You would get cops calling you for sure, drinking in public. That's what I'm saying, yeah. You'd get you would get in a lot of trouble. You know, you get a lifetime ban from Pokemon, and you'd probably get in like trouble. You get like charged or something for sure. Yeah, they, <laughs> if anybody has ever thought of it, don't do it. Do not don't drink alcohol at Pokemon events. You just don't do that. It's just a you just don't do that. It's against the rules. A PSA. An LD this is an LDF PSA. Be responsible. You get high before every event. That's probably that's that's probably a blurred line, but yeah. Probably yeah, I, I would I yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Pokemon Ranger was probably printed because of Seismitoad, yes. I agree. That is, I found that funny that they regretted printing Seismitoad. What's the game? The game, wait, right now? I think it just started. That's to prove if you don't stink. If you don't smell like weed. Well, I don't, can you get in trouble for smoking, being hot? Well, you, yeah, if you're high during a tournament, you probably get in trouble, yes. Well, if you take, a, if you take any enhance, performance enhancing drugs or anything, yeah. Immediate DQ right there. Oh, this matchup? Yeah, I don't think we've seen it yet, Sticks. They haven't revealed it, I don't think. Sanctioned events? Well, they're not, they're sanctioned, they're not really sanctioned events, they're just like, they're run by TPCI. So like, if you, if you do something at a cup or challenge that's not allowed, they can report it to Pokemon and get you in trouble. Because it's, it's, you're technically playing for CP. Please be Ar Arc Vulpix. Close moon loss? No. Yeah, rip, rip, Rickster. Yeah, moon, moon, yeah. I'll have to check handbook, rule 2 4, under expectations, spell it out. Adderall is a performance enhancing drug. This was a topic on Twitter a while ago. Yes, Adderall, I think Adderall should not be allowed unless you're, unless you actually like have medical proof that you have to take it. Taking it just to try to improve your game is not allowed. Yes, that's not allowed. Even if, even if you have like a, yeah, medical, like, if it's medical, then I guess, like, I don't know. You probably would have to talk to someone about that beforehand. I don't know. All right, we got, what's this? Shampao? Shampao versus Arctina? Is it Shampao? It's Arc Vulpix? No, nah, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's Shampao. Wait. Yeah, it's Shampao. Uh, round 14. It is, yes. It's flat out illegal to do that. Yes, yes. Whiskatch Reversal Energy Mill deck. Yo, there you go. I haven't done a video on that. Oh, it's Lost Tina. Yo, let's go. It's Lost Tina. All right, it's not Arc Tina. It's actually Lost Tina. Okay. The prizes are pretty bad, yeah. But this is why best of one is kind of brutal, because pretty sure if this Arc Tina player loses, they're probably not going to make top cut, right? Double Tina V-Star is really bad. Okay, to be fair, though... Oh, they're, like, near the top, too. That sucks. That's actually pretty rough. Yeah, and the Arc Tina player might be cooked. Not gonna lie. That's, that's, that's really bad. <laughs> Those are bad prizes. Yeah, they got, they got some skills with the camera, for sure.
Japanese got way cooler versus hollows. Yeah, they do have nicer versus hollows. I agree. Their cards, I think their their cards are just better better quality than our cards, in my opinion. They just have better quality cards. By the way, chat, if you've been enjoying the stream, make sure to slap a like on the stream. I appreciate it. It was an insane POV change, bro. They got the skills. I live in Seattle where herb has been legal for as long as I can remember. People always re <laughs> Weed is legal in Canada too. Weed is legal in Canada. There's a lot. It's there's a lot of lot of it in Canada. Slapping a like. Well, if you're on YouTube, slap a like. If you're on Twitch, you can't like, but if there's a like button on Twitch, you know. There you go. Medical exemption, permissible sanction events since you have uh, to declare yourself to play, so probably not. Yeah, maybe not then, yeah. I mean, if it's medical, then obviously there's, yeah, there's probably more to it. If it's not medical, yeah, you just flat out DQ and ban, probably. Maybe not a lifetime ban, but you probably would get a lifetime ban. A big what slap on the like button. Bro liked the button, all right. Can wait for rotation, swapping VIP for Buddy Poffin. I can't wait either, Maple. All right, yeah, Tina player prize two Tina V-Stars. That is really bad. The problem is, too, you can't really afford to fall behind against Shen Pao. If Shen Pao just takes two prizes, it's really hard to win, I think. We'll see what happens. They got the ditto. Yo, Broken Sticks with a $5 tip. Loving the stream. Have a drink from the UK. Yo, appreciate that, Sticks. Thank you for that donation. Glad you've been enjoying the stream tonight. Yeah, this is my first time doing a watch party. I've never done one of these before. Let me know Let me know if you've been enjoying the watch party. I, like, I mean, it's fun to just sit here and chat. I like talking, so. I enjoy, I enjoy sitting and talking. Lost Box does lose Battle VIP, but... Lost Box gains a new tool card. I mean, and es Escape Rope is like Escape Rope VIP, and that's it. And like Dragonite, I guess. And Kyogre. Kyogre's a really big loss. Kyogre would probably be really good in the format if it didn't rotate because of all the big EX decks that are coming out that are basics. Buddy Poffins are going to go for $5 a piece. Yep. Get your place at the Buddy Poffin now. Am I ignoring you? I'm not ignoring you, no. It's chill? Yeah, I, I like I like chilling. Because, like, I play TC Live, bro. It's fun, but I rage. Yeah, I, I like I like, I like like sitting and chatting. I like sitting and chatting. Control is going to be insane. I do think the reason why we don't see Snorlax do as well in Japan right now is because best of one. There's an update to it. Uh, with Paradox Rift, probably, like, Countercatcher would be a good inclusion. Earth and Vessel maybe is a one of them. Mewtwo EX with Energy Switch. Stuff like that. Pokestop pulls three items. Hey man, they, in the infamous Pokestop, draw three cards. You either, Pokestop's either discard the top three cards of your deck or draw three cards. No in between. Yeah, best of one is really bad for Control. That's why Control doesn't do as well in Japan. I do think that Control is going to be a top deck like it is right now. I think Control is going to be probably just still a top deck. Maybe even maybe even better. Actually, I don't know. We're gonna see all the Cal Connors and stuff play control to like all the regionals and do well with it, but like the casual average player is not gonna play control to regional. It's it's gonna be good but not popular. It's just best one in Japan is different. You haven't played TC Live in live events for like six months now? Jeez. The guaranteed stamp uh bikes don't drive down the price of the regular legendaries. Yeah, we'll see on that. We'll see on that. Body Poffins aren't going to be $5 a piece. I think they will. I think they will. Does it? I mean, yeah, no. Maybe over time they will be. Like, Battle VIP, before, I think before the Mew Battle deck came out, Battle VIP was like, Battle VIP was, like, it was expensive. Yeah, I think even right now, Battle VIPs are still like four bucks. I guarantee you, if you go to your local card shop right now and buy Battle, you buy a play set of VIPs, they're probably going to cost you like four bucks each. I guarantee you. Battle VIPs were like a buck a piece at the venue in Knoxville. Control's hard to watch. Depending on what it's playing against. If it's playing against Charizard, it's a snooze fest. If Control's actually playing against a deck that can beat it, it's actually, it's worth watching. Because there's, 
there's a lot of things that can happen. If it's like control versus Zard, where like Zard just flat out loses, it's like who cares? In Singapore, that's what I'm saying, bro. VIP, bro. People gouge the prices of VIP because everyone VIP is a terrible card to buy right now. If you're spending four bucks on VIP, bro, you gotta reevaluate your life because that card is gonna literally just it's gonna tank in like a month. If if you're somebody who doesn't plan on going any more tournaments or like is not gonna play that much until rotation, I would sell your rotation stuff off right now because you're not gonna get it any higher than it is right now, probably. I did that last night. I sold a ton of rotation cards last night to my local card shop because I knew that they're they're not gonna be expensive for much longer. And I have no plans on using half of the cards anyways. Like, depending on how often you play the game, keep the battle VIP passes. But if if you have like twelve, sixteen battle VIP passes, just sell off the sell off twelve of the VIPs and keep the other four for your for your decks. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Hey Kakashi, what's up? Think of that tier one sub. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good too. We're doing a watch party right now for uh the Champions League. Yeah, level ball. Level ball is a big loss for sure. They might reprint it though, at some point. Hey, man, we're talking about rotation right now and cards that are rotating. Who knows? In the next two hours, maybe we're going to get more card reprints revealed. It could happen. The infinite money glitch? It, it literally is. For eight last week? That's disgusting. I mean, okay, a dollar for a VIP is not that bad, but, like, VIP being more than a dollar feels like it's just not, nah, bro. Bro's getting scammed. Unless you're, like, desperate for battle VIP pass. Spending more than a dollar for a VIP... For a single VIP, probably a bad, bad investment. I'm not going to be in Vancouver, no. I'm skipping Vancouver. It's the same weekend as a new set, so I'd rather just stay home and make videos. But I'll I'll be in, uh, or I'll, I'll try to go to EUIC, and I'm going to Orlando. I got into Orlando. Yeah, those Tinas being at the top there sucks. Okay, but to be fair, though, it's actually looking pretty good, though, for the Tina player, because he killed the two Frigibaxes. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. And I think the Tina player is probably fine. That was a pretty awkward pokey stop too. Yeah, bye bye e cards. Exactly, Ender. Exactly. The Mew, the Mew battle deck is a good, good product to buy. Not anymore, but it was. I didn't. I was gonna sell my Mew stuff off last night, but I didn't because I was like, I might play the deck one more time. Mew, I think Mew's just unplayable right now. There's too much Moon and Zard, but. Maybe I'll play Mew V Max. I don't actually no. Mew Mew's a terrible deck right now. If I I would probably put Mew in like D tier right now because bro it, it loses to Roaring Moon. Charizard's not that bad because like if you if you use the Box of Disaster Psychic Leap strategy, it's not that bad of a matchup. Moon and Mew Gardevoir are just abysmal matchups. And Tina with Spirit Tomb. Yeah, Mew's Mew's a D tier deck. I would not recommend playing Mew. Yeah, don't play. I would not. I would not recommend playing Mew to Vancouver, bro. That's a bad meta call. VIP is an uncommon. It's uh point one cents in bulk. Yeah, rotation. It will be. Play Reggie's. I'd be down. If I was going to Vancouver, I honestly would be tempted to play Zoro Box, because like, why not? I do. But if I want my invite though, I'd have to play something a bit more real. But bro, I could do it. Delphox, <laughs> true. Yo, Delphox, just knock out all the Genesects. Go around the Mew. The Lost Zone often play Forest Seal Stone? Sometimes, yes. I've seen Tina List play a Forest Seal Stone before. It's not really that good of a card because you would rather use Star Requiem, but I have seen Tina List play it. Um, some Lost Zone decks play uh, Forest Seal Stone if they're playing Pidgeot or Dragonite, though. Or some other random jank e V card like Starmie or... I don't know. Del Foxy? Del Foxy Lost Box. There you go. Exactly. Yeah, Mewhu, just snipe around the yeah, snipe around it. Exactly. Iron Crown, Iron Hand's gonna be good? I think so. We saw it win on stream against Goldengo, which I thought I was saying that matchup was bad, but the Iron Hands deck won anyways, so maybe it's good. It, yeah, it depends on the local meta, but like I feel like most players now just play Roy Moon and Zard because they're easy to play and easy to pick up. Top cut is best of three, right, chat? Because we're on round 14 right now. So, 
We have one round left. Wait, yeah, there's one round left until top cut, right? Two cards on top of the deck. Mal Mallow's really good. I I'm just going to call it Mallow because there's literally Mallow, but yeah, yeah. That is true, Pop. I, I don't know. I can see VIPs. I can see Body Poffin going up in price, though. It's just, it's a good card. Like, a lot of decks can play it. Like, Shempao, Goldango, Charizard, Lost Zone decks will play it. Any, like, random EX that evolves will probably play it. Like, I think it's just a good card to have. Like, it's still, it's not VIP levels of broken, but it's, like, definitely a card that will probably, like, maybe, like, in two sets time. Like, maybe by the time it's, like, August... Buddy Poffin will be like five bucks a piece if it doesn't get like printed into a battle deck at that point. Goldengo? I would play Goldengo to Vancouver, but the deck, the fact that the deck got second place in Dormund makes me not want to play it because now people just know the deck exists. The reason why Goldengo was a good meta call, or the reason it did good in Knoxville and Dormund, is because nobody knows how to play against it and nobody knew the deck existed. So, like, that was the advantage the deck had. I think the deck is still good. I'm not saying the deck is bad. I, I don't know if I'd run it back in Vancouver, though. Because it just, everyone knows it exists now. If it didn't get second in Dortmund, it would probably be a good deck. Yo, Brandon, what's up? Appreciate the support. Welcome out to the stream. Yeah, what's up, Spagooty? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know if their top cut is best of one. Yeah, Codebreaker? Yeah. No, I think Codebreaker is a card that can see playing a lot of stuff. I think it'll be good in, like, Maridon if that exists. It can be good in Future Box for Electric Generator for Iron Hands. VIP won't be missed. Yeah, VIP won't be missed. We do have Buddy Poffin, which is Battle VIP's brother on a budget. Their top guy's best at one? Bro. Okay, bet. Yeah, maybe... Like I said, they'll probably if Buddy Poffin becomes that that battle VIP card where it becomes expensive, then yeah, they'll put it in like a, a battle deck. But like right away, probably not. Yeah, off meta decks are sick. Okay, now the Tina player probably wins. They're so far ahead right now. Dude, best of one. I mean, I bro, I was saying that I was saying that the Tina player was gonna lose because they prized two Tinas. The Tina player is winning the game. Like there's I don't even know if the Shempo player can win at this point. They have to, like, Iono plus pray the Tina player doesn't have a KO on the Shempao. It's so bad. It's so bad for the Tina player. I guess the Shempao player has to go Greninja this turn, obviously, right? Oh, that's brutal. Lost the Irida. Got a candy and a retrieval, though. Probably a Baxcalibur already in hand. Yeah, it's 4.30 a.m. Bro, it's 11 p.m. right now. I'm not usually streaming this late. Best of one is really tough, yeah. That's why I don't enjoy League Challenges. League Challenges are... I've won a few of them, but, like, bro, they're so grief. If you literally lose one game in a League Challenge, you can't win it. It's like, all right, bet. Whereas League Cups... League Cups, you can lose a game and still have a shot at making top cut. Yeah, best of one. Best of one is grief. Best of one is grief. I don't have a problem with best of one. The, the thing with best of one... Like, best of three League Challenges and League Cups... In my opinion, suck because nobody wants to sit there. Nobody wants to do best of three all day. Like that's like people want to go home usually, right? Two leagues, one cup. It's six thirty a.m. Yeah, dude, everyone's time zone is crazy right now. Yeah, it's like it'll be midnight in half an hour. Like that's crazy. I'll probably. We'll see. I I was thinking. I don't know. I don't want to be... I, I'm pretty sure this will end around, like, 3 or 4 in the morning. I don't think I'll be streaming that late. I can't... I can't be up that late, probably. Like, I, I just can't. I gotta be up tomorrow anyways, so... I'm probably not gonna be able to stay up super late. Yeah, we saw it on stream earlier, Local, and it won, so I think it's good. It really depends on how popular Vacuum is, though. That deck gets crumbled by Vacuum. Not cheap either, yeah. Why they're in Germany? New to TC Live and gather cards for one full deck besides Gardevoir. Which one would you recommend? Probably Zard or Moon. Yeah, those are... Maridon's good too. Uh, but if you want to get ready for the new format, Zard and Moon... Probably Zard's your best bet. Yeah, Zard, Zard, Zard's probably the best bet for sure. Apo Yo, appreciate that. Uh, Politoed for sure. Probably... 
Politoed would be cool. We've had like we've had cool Politoeds, but they've been like very rogue friendly cards. Um yeah, eleven thirty in Florida. Um We need more love for like cards like I want a good Hydreigon. I'm hoping we get an Iron Jugular CX. Where can I watch this? Um Forget the YouTube channel name. Somebody said it earlier and I forget. It was like it was like Pokika CH or something. Something like that. I forget what it's called. If you just look up the if you look up the title the the Champions League on YouTube, you can probably find it. Our our goo picks looks good. VIP is five bucks. No one wants to buy Fusion Strike. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nobody's gonna buy VIP for sure. You gonna stay awake for the next hour? Probably. Yeah. Deck to take LDF, can you guess? Is it Delphox? Yo, Delphox v Lost Box? All right. The Tina player, okay. Uh, actually, now it's looking okay for the Shempo player, because they killed the Tina. They, they, the Tina guy can't actually bench two Tinas. Okay. Maybe Tina can... Tina might actually lose, actually, then. Maybe? I, I, I still feel like the Tina player is in an okay position. Can you just Sableye the Bibberl here? Can you get a little, like, you can't do Roxanne Sableye, though. Bro, not the Pokestop. No. The Jet Energies, bro. Grief. I just want to access these tournaments. Uh, YouTube. I'm watching on YouTube right now. I forget the channel name. It's something, it's like Pokeka CH. Somebody said it earlier. I already forgot what it is. I'm not sold on Lugia in the rotation because, like, how does it beat Charizard? I know you have Sinchino, but, like, if Charizard just kills Archeops, like, how do you win? I don't know. I, I'm 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 hyped for Lugia. I mean, Lugia is a cool card. I like it, but I'm not sold on it just yet. But we'll see. Tina player would probably be fine if they could bench two Tinas, but their board is locked. But they they kind of have a good position. They have Sableye plus Manaphy in play, which is kind of good. So like Greninja is not really an option. Okay, this is probably game actually. Yeah, you just shred the you shred the Shen Pao. Oh. Okay, now nah, the game's over now. Okay, that's game. That's GG's. Okay. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> that works too. Boss shred KO back Excalibur. Okay, that's the end of the game then. That's GG's. Yeah, that's game. Just on me, they haven't printed a single Lugia card for Skull and Violet. <laughs> they probably got PTSD from the V Star. Debating uh, to play Arctina or Vulpix post rotation. As an Arctina enthusiast, I'm probably going to play Arctina, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I just want rotation, bro. That's all I want. That's all a man wants in life is rotation. I, I say that, but, like, the new format's, like, it, it is kind of, like, it's, like, Charizard is, like, the big bad deck. But I don't know. It's, like, I'm, I just want a new format, bro. New cards. New stuff, bro. Even if, like, I mean, people are, I've seen people comment, like, rotation looks boring anyways. Because it's just the same decks we already have. Well, obviously, like, Charizard isn't rotating. Shampoo's not rotating. The Lost One Engine's not going anywhere. But we get new cards, which is the best part about it. Yeah, we are going to get reveals tonight. Yeah. This should be in, like, an hour and a half. Spicy Armor Rouge Arclus moving up might be something to look into. I did a video on the Arc Rayquaza Armor Rouge deck. That deck's a lot of fun to play. We saw there was an Arc Armor Rouge deck in uh, Day 2 in Dortmund. The Zard lovers complaining, yeah. Lugia will still be fun to jump back into. Yeah, Lugia, Lugia with Sinchino is insane. New variants, exactly. It's just, it's just a breath of fresh air. Even if it's like the same decks that are good, like Charizard, Shempao, Goldengo, Lost Zone decks are still popular, and Arc piles come back. It's still like there's still new decks, there's still new cards, there's still new things to discover and explore. Because right now the meta is like. Not figured out, but the meta's definitely been, like, people have already kind of, like, figured out most of what is good right now in the format. Ooh, Iono. Okay, wait a minute. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Iono Countercatcher Sableye is actually kind of good. But, like, bro, what do you got off the Iono? Would you ear? That's a pretty good Iono, bro. Do the ear to? Okay, he's cooking. You can... He has Comfy Greninja. Okay, we'll see. Does he have game? He doesn't have it. Yo, I gotta see this. Does he got it like that, bro? Yeah, Arc Ray Armor Rouge is a sick deck. 
I like it. Yeah, Shampao and Arctina are both going to be good. No worries, Dom. No worries. Peace out if you're heading out for the night. Does he have it? No, he does have it. That game? It's Giratina V-Star, right? Yeah, the ultar. GG's. Giratina's not dead, chat. It's not gone. The deck still exists in the rotation. It's not gone. The content you have uh, shared between you, Brent Honest, and Harry Brand, I have uh, learned so much about this game um, so fast uh, in such a short time. I have been consistently uh, winning my cups and challenges. I made uh, my fair share of regional day twos as well. You'll be attending London as well, so I want to truly know of an appreciation for you. Yo, appreciate that, Jewish kid. Thank you. I appreciate that a ton. And I'm happy to hear that. I am happy to hear that. And hopefully I'll see you in London. We get a shout out to the camera angles. Dude, the camera angles are top tier for sure. Zard is only fifty to fifty five dollars, so might build might as well not make one. Charizard's that expensive? I thought it'd be like twenty bucks a piece. There's like five, nine there's like nine variants of Charizard. I feel like if you want to build Charizard, if it's fifty dollars a piece, just buy the Paldean Fates tin at that point, right? Because the tin's like thirty dollars. Just buy three of those. That is true, Pop, yeah. Oh, wait, I read that wrong, Pop. <laughs> you meant in total, derp. Okay, never mind, I'm stupid. Yeah, you meant in total. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. My bad. Yeah, in total, the card is... The, the deck itself in total is 50 bucks. I thought you meant a piece. Bro, it's, it's that late night getting to me chat. Yeah, actually, okay, maybe Lugia's fine. Yeah, yeah, because he got the... No, it's all good, Pop. I read that wrong. Um, yeah, you meant the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Luxray. Eh, maybe the matchup's actually fine, yeah. As long as you have ways to KO, if, as long as you can knock out Charizard stuff in one hit, you probably win the matchup, yeah. Because Charizard can't just counter catch around the Sinchino. Because the Sinchino KOs you. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Yeah, 50, I, bro, $50 a piece for Charizard. Maybe if you're buying the Illustrator Rare, or the gold one. Yeah, it's definitely the best deck to buy right now, for sure. Snorlax Radzard KOs late. That is true. I mean, maybe we'll see some Lugia gameplay in Top Cut. I'd like to see a Lugia in Top Cut. That'd be kind of sick. We'll see if there's any gameplay of it. I wish I could have streamed this last night, too. I, I, I was going to do a watch party last night, but I ended up going to my locals. I kind of wish I did. I was gonna leave. I was gonna leave my locals early to stream it early, but I was like, whatever. I was winning at that point. I was like three and one. I'm like, I don't want to drop. I don't know. I was gonna stream last night, do a watch party, but glad I made it tonight. Lugia should have a great Zard matchup. Yeah, I feel like if you're playing colorless Lugia. You probably lose to Charizard. Like, Lugia without Sinchino loses to Charizard. Lugia with Sinchino, you probably beat Charizard. Because, like, every time I think of the matchup, that Charizard just goes knockout pitch, knockout Archeops, knockout Archeops, and you just can't win. But when you actually have, as long as Lugia has a way to KO Charizard EX in one hit reliably, then you don't have to worry about the Archeops getting gusted. And yeah, you have the Luxray. Luxray is actually huge because you just probably beat Charizard at that point. Like, you can Luxray the Pidgeot. Play Block Lax? I disagree. Block Lax is hard to play. Like, control decks are cheap, but, like, they're not easy to play. They're not a, it's not a deck a new player can pick up and do well with. It can't... I mean, you can. Like, I'm not... You could literally hit, like... You could hit Charizard players and literally just beat them, and you could... Do, uh, you could play Snorlax and have no idea what you're doing and just still win because Charizard can't beat Snorlax, but I don't recommend Snorlax to new players because that deck is not a... That's not a new player deck. A new player can't play Snorlax and just, like, do well with it all the time. Colors Lugia, Sinchino Lugia? Yeah, but if, if you were playing, like, Colors Lugia with, like, uh, Snorlaxes and Weirdier, then it would suck against Charizard. But yeah, Lugia with Sinchino is good. If we're saying Lugia, Sinchino, but, like, straight Lugia Colors with no Sinchino is bad. Because, like, you, Sinchino, like, the problem with Sinchino, you do have to put another Stage 1 line in your deck, so now you have to play, now you have to play Lugia, plus try to get Archeops at turn 2 in the discard pile, and have another stage one in the deck. Like, that's kind of clunky. 
So there's like there's kind of a reason to play Call of Duty because like you don't have to worry about like two stage twos and like it's not as clunky, right? But Call of Duty just loses to Charizard. Lugia can really only consistently KO two Zards. Yeah, five special energy is not that hard though for sure. Cloth, cloth, cloth is like the problem with cloth though is it loses. The electrode gets worse, right? Well, actually, hmm, you might actually be you might be onto something. Yeah, electrode with glasses and Sneasler one shots Charizard. That's a good point. Wait, does it? Yeah, it does. Oh, you know, maybe you're onto something actually. Okay, I didn't think of that actually. You're right. Yeah, you can one shot the Charizard with electrode glasses, Sneasler. That's interesting. I didn't know that. That's true, bro. That's both kind of spitting. Arcane with Sableye? I did not know. Was it the wait? Oh, might have been the might have been the game that was streamed before I started going live. Moonzard and Maridon? Yeah, right now for sure. I would argue I would argue Charizard's best new player deck right now. But yeah, those are definitely the, the best the best of the best options. It's all good, Rogue Trainer. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. I'll see you hopefully soon. I don't know when I'm streaming next, but I uh, appreciate stopping by. Watching the stream from? Uh, I forgot the channel name. It's like, poke. I can. I mean, if you if you can look it up, here's the the name of the channel. I it's something. Oh, my my chat is blocking it. My bad. It's like um. Hold on. I'm trolling. It's something. It's something Pokeka. I I forget. Somebody said it. Yeah, Pokeka Ch. That's what it was. Yes. There you go. That's the name of the channel. They asked the name. You could also look up the name. You could just look up the Champions League on Twitch and find it. Wait, what is what's that card in the active? There's a Lugia V versus what? What is that? Oh, it's Arc. Oh, it's Arceus. Okay, the lighting made it look kind of weird. Arc Guja, bro, versus Lugia. I feel like Lugia beats it because they just didn't Chino you. Everyone plays it. That's fair. Lugia versus Ark. This was earlier, right? Yeah, this is this was earlier because it says eight and two. I wouldn't mind if they restream this match though. And instead of just sitting here looking at people talking. Lugia versus Ark is two years ago. Yeah, that's what it was, bro. Clefable ability on Valiant. It's an interesting concept. The new the Clefable is kind of cool. Yeah, you can use Iron Valiant to get damage on it. A Pokemon 252 sell the feature of the Golden Silvers. That'd be interesting. The problem with that, though, is, like, people are... I mean, people will be nostalgic for, like, any generation. Probably up until X and Y, to be honest, but... Yeah, I could see it. I, the nostalgia doesn't sell as well, though, with Johto as it does with Kanto. That's the only problem. But they could do that. The last time we got, like, a, a Johto style set was the heart coastal silver sets that was because heart coastal silver was like a remake if i don't think they're going to be remaking johto anytime soon obviously they're going to be remaking black and white in the near future probably probably by 2026 or 7 black and white remakes will be out yeah that'd be cool though i like johto joe i'm a fan of johto johto's cool get get blissey ex tyranitary ex Jocho starter EXs, stuff like that. Yeah, this is a restream game, right? Bro got the double chops turn one, maybe? Unova Supremacy? Unova's kind of sick, yeah. I, I'm a fan of Unova. I said that earlier. Black and White Remix would be this year or next year? Oh, maybe. I Probably next. I don't know about this year. Would it be new? Maybe this year, actually, yeah. I feel like we would have seen leaks, though, of black and white remakes. I remember the Diamond and Pearl leaks came out a while before that came out. Yeah, just in time for Live Expanded. That's so true. Damn, what? That was their... That's a good opening hand. Double Lugia, double Mincino. What? That's crazy, bro. Yeah, peace out, Scavenger. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's crazy, bro. I guess I guess we're just watching a restreamed match. Or is this Is this right now? I'm actually confused. Cause it says eight and two, but I'm not sure. Bro can't tell. That's pretty good though. There's a turn to Arc V Star. It's actually interesting. What do you do as Arceus here? Do you hit the Lugia or do you boss a Minchino? Because Sinchino does one shot Gudra V Star. But I guess like the Sinchino deck needs six energy, right? To one shot Gudra. And Archeops can only put four in play. Plus attachment. I guess you're still chilling. Yeah, you probably just hit Lugia, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's a restream game, yeah. But that, that Tina sent that the Tina Shempel game actually took a while. I ain't complaining though. This is actually it's watchable. I'm actually I need to look something up. I need to look up the maximum belt for a sec. That's a pretty good turn for the arc player though. Arc goo picks. Vulpix is pretty good. It's, actually, is Vulpix... I don't know if Vulpix is good, actually. I lied. Uh, maximum Bell. Where is it? Where is it? Maximum Bell. Oh, it's EXs only. Okay. I was like... If Maximum Bell worked against Lugia V, bro, that'd be disgusting. Was Unova where they did Mega Evos? No, that was... Uh, that was the neck. That was Kalos. That was X and Y. Unova didn't have a special mechanic, I don't think. Did it? I can't remember. I think it did, though. I don't think it was, like, a crazy... No, I don't think Unova... Unova didn't really have any, like, crazy new mechanic, I don't think. They had the gems? Yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't anything crazy, yeah. I have a deck where you play to the stars of the team, kind of like Roaring Moon. Uh, I, a solo Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant Zatu would be that deck. I kind of like that deck. I've, I haven't done a video on it. Yeah, Black and White didn't really have any... Yeah, it didn't have any special... Special game things. This Lugia player is cooking, bro. I got double Sinchino already? Bro, that's crazy. What the heck? I'm out here saying that Lugia is clunky because how are you going to get... How are you going to get double chops, double stage two in play? And then, bro, I, I look away for one second. Bro's got double chops, Lugia V-Star, double Sinchino in play. That's crazy, dude. Unova did have a good story. Unova had some iconic stuff. Like, N. N's iconic. Gudra making a comeback with Mist Energy. Yeah, Gudra's good. Gudra's good. Roaring Moon's also less popular, which helps, obviously. Okay, yeah, Unova did have... Yeah, I forgot. Triple and rotation battles. That's true. True. But you, you can't really incorporate that in the TCG, though. Not like Mega Evolutions. But I guess that was a new mechanic. Uh, the last game we, I don't know if you were here, but we did stream a game where we watched Giratina versus Shempao. It was Lost Tina. And now we're watching, I think we're watching a past game that was streamed already. It's Arku Picks versus Lugia. Lugia player did say watch this. That's crazy, bro. That's like the perfect setup. I was like literally saying that the Lugia of Chop stack feels like a pile. Because like you have to set up so many cards to like... But this bro just, like, bro has double Lugia V-Star in play, double Archeops, and double Sinchino in play by turn two. That's absurd. How? Bro drew the nuts. No reveals? No, nah, not yet, not yet. Probably have one, right? Yeah, you can't really incorporate in the TCG. Unless you actually, unless the TCG invented double battles. The new Sinchino work? It does, like, 70 damage for each special energy you have in play. Does Lugia player retreat into Sinchino, or do they fall? Okay, they're going to hit. They want to fall behind in prizes, which is interesting. I don't hate it. Was there ever, was there ever a world where you want to kill the Arceus, though? No, I guess you want to attack the... I don't know. Well, I guess all... Oh, but, if dude, if Lugia gets... Okay, if Lugia can play... Reversal energy, then the Sinchino does like a million damage, right? For a special energy card attached to it. So reversal energy wouldn't work then. DT is only one? Yeah, okay, okay. Never mind. 
Oh my god, I already know, dude. The amount of the amount of posts on Reddit, people are gonna be like, my Sinchino should have done more damage, bro. Why? And you gotta read the card, bro. Reddit is the number one place where people don't read cards. It's actually hilarious. Every dude, every day on the TCG Live subreddit, there's always a post of somebody not reading a card properly. It's actually hilarious. There's nothing wrong with it, because like obviously if you're new to the game, I guess like it'll happen, but it's just funny to see. It's like it's become a meme at this point. Yeah, there's no read it facts. Like I bro, if I pull it up right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on Reddit real quick. I'm gonna prove it. Let's see. PDCG, I guarantee you, the first one of the first posts I'm gonna see, nobody knows how to read the card. Let's see. Yep. First thing I see. Guy, some guy doesn't know why Sableye didn't work when there's a Jirachi in play. <laughs> Bro, every time, dude. I don't get it. Literally. Three posts in. First thing I see, some guy didn't know about Jirachi. I don't know, man. I'm telling you, dude. Reddit's crazy. Only happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon is very clear. Yeah. I, I mean, to be fair, I've had kind of... I've had moments, too, where I've derped out and not read a card properly. I've had that happen before, too. But it is a meme when it does happen. 280 off of a double chop, 330 with a belt. That's why I think belt is better than ball. Yeah, fair. But you can just attach for turn, though, right? You can go double chops attach. The problem with maximum belt is, like... I don't know. Master ball could be good, though. Because, like, it does guarantee... Like, free Archeops is insane. But it's also only a one of. Maybe Maxim Belt is better. Because then you can also use Lugia V, v Star aggressively against basic EXs. That's one thing that kind of sucks about Lugia is it doesn't one shot basic EX Pokemon apart from a Rhydon and Shen Pao. You also have to waste four energy. And being able to put like double turbo gift V Guard on Lugia with a Maxim Belt to one shot a basic EX is really good. So maybe Maxim Belt is optimal. It's better than Shen, bro, basically, dude. And it keeps the energy on the Cinchinos, bro. The Chinchilla is cracked. Well, I guess, like, well, as the Lugia player, you gotta, you have to save the Sinchino for the Gudra. Because Gudra can get one shot by Sinchino, basically. It is kind of useless. Well, I, I mean, that's not true. It does get you, I mean, it guarantees you a Pokemon. It's not a bad card. A Ma Master Ball always has value, I think. But obviously, the most high value you're going to get out of the card is at the start of the game. So, I don't know. Jirachi or Manaphy to have a uh, Dodge Arm Valiant's ability? They don't work against Iron Valiant, no. Jirachi stops Yoga Loop on the bench, but not Iron Valiant. That's how I was thinking, yeah, yo. I, I, I don't know if they had a boss or not, but I was thinking that too. They could have bossed the Archeopses up and knocked them out one by one. But the thing is, the, the Archeops player put a ton of energy in play, where it's like at that point, it's not, not, as, not as good. The goo is down. The goo is very down. Now, Lugia player probably... Probably is, like, in an insane spot here. Because, like... I mean, yeah, you kill the Sinchino, but, like, if they just... If a guy gets another Sinchino, bro, you're just over. Enhanced Hammer? That'd be interesting. Enhanced Hammer or Fana Waves reprint would be kind of wild, not gonna lie. That'd be wild. I don't know if they'd reprint that. That'd be kind of cool, though. Imagine they reprinted Enhanced Hammer with Fana Waves. Raiding Guardi? Yeah, the Radiant Guardi is interesting. Um, it is interesting, for sure. I don't hate it. I guess Radiant Gardevoir is, like, kind of good. I don't know. Maybe it's because of Ark and Lugia being popular right now. You kind of need to play it. Heals 20 per turn, right? Now, Radiant Gardevoir uh, reduces damage done to V Pokemon. By V. So, like, yeah, yeah. So, Lugia V-Star does 20 less damage basically. Alright, Fulia has boss here. Could be a boss-boss situation, unless there's a Turo. Turo plus, I mean, Turo, Lone Vulpix could be pretty good. That's not a boss. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure. Did the... The Arcaps player might whiff the knockout on the Vulpix with the Sinchino, if he can do it. Because he can also draw a ton of energy and then just can't do enough to knock out the, the Vulpix. Yeah, reverse heals 20, yeah. 
Gardevoir, I mean, it's kind of just mid because there's too many EXs now, obviously. It's, like, kind of okay. I guess, like, with Lugia and Arc being back, I guess it's, like, not terrible. It'll get interesting for sure, yeah. Yeah, Raging Bull, Raging Bull's going to be cool. I think we're still waiting on a on an optimal deck list, though. With Gudra's 80, 100 less damage. Yeah, right in the right in the meta, it's good. True, true. Yeah, I I mean to be fair, we could even see like Lugia play like uh Prime Catcher. That's not even a bad card either for the deck. Yo, Mr. High, what's up? Welcome to the stream. We're watch partying Champions League right now. We're watching Gudra Arc versus Lugia. Just the wait a year to have all the V's gone. Yep. The V's aren't going anywhere anytime soon, unfortunately. I mean, I don't know. I like the V mechanic. I was fine with that. V stars. The problem with V stars was like it kind of made going first a little too OP. But like, I don't know. V V's became a lot more fair when EXs came out. That's when like things started to get better. Because like I liked, I was a fan of the arc format. I didn't like Palkia. I thought I thought the Palkia format was bad because Palkia was just a very toxic card at the time when it was the one deck everyone played. Palkia was a poorly designed card when it came out. Palkia right now is perfectly fine to have in the game. It's a really fine card. Back when it was, like, the main popular deck, I thought Palkia was bad for the game. Lugia was obviously pretty pretty bad, too, when it came out. But then EXs came out, and the Vs... The Vs and the Xs kind of became their own two separate entities. And actually, it, it made things a lot more diverse and healthy for the game. So I, I enjoyed that more than the uh, mechanic we had now. Yeah, Lugia, bro. Lugia never dies. Lugia never dies. Palkia Ice Rider. Palkia and Talion. The, the Palkia and Talion deck that existed during the Astral Radiance Pokemon Go format, I thought that deck was, like, I thought that deck was, like, toxic. Because it just, like, it was too good. And it also, like, if the Palkia player went first, they can subspace well, knock out your V Pokemon, you lose the game. Arc Flying Pikachu... Save the format, but like, yeah, Pal I didn't, I didn't like the Palkia format. The Palkia format sucked. Palkia and Talion was not a fun deck to play against. I didn't like that. I thought that deck was like I, the deck was just unfun to play against. It was just, it was stupid. Because you go second against that deck, they just like boss cross switcher KO your V with subspace well. You get punished for you get punished for playing the game because you can't bench Pokemon against Palkia. It just sucked. I don't know. The card sucked. Now that the card is like a fringe card, it's like more fair and balanced. But, like, back when it was, like, one of the best cards in the game, the game, I thought the game, I thought it was a bad, bad card for the game. Yeah, Mew, Mew was very good. Mew during the Fusion Strike era was also bad for the game. Mirror was not fun. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, exactly, Sunny. Bro, that's why I didn't like Palkia, dude. It didn't let you bench Pokemon. Like, Palkia, Palkia... Palkia is a card where it exists in the format as it does now, where it's, like, not that popular, but still sees success, is perfectly fine. Palkia, when it was one of the main cards in the game and the best deck in the format, was not fun at all. Because it was a poorly, it was a poorly designed card that prevented you from playing the game. It also had Radiant Greninja, so it was, like, it had access to, like, turn two Greninja. I forgot about that, too. That was also something I hated about that deck. I I mean, the only thing I didn't like about the Arceus format before Astro Radiance came out, I thought Arc Intel was a bad deck because that deck, like, was just... it. Arc Intel sucked. I didn't like that deck. That deck was annoying to play against, and it was boring to play against. Anytime there was an Arc Intel mirror on stream, I would literally just... I would just... I would click off the stream. Arc Intel mirrors on the... On back in the day on the on the live streams they had on the, the Pokemon regional streams was the worst thing they could have streamed. It was so boring. Palkia mirrors were kind of dumb too, but there was at least like it wasn't that bad. Arc Intel mirrors were like it was so it was boring. It was like the worst thing to watch. Yeah, Belt Belt was very yeah Belt Belt was insane in Palkia. Palkia just had everything. Palkia had Palkia had Greninja, the Shady Dealings Engine, Cap uh, Capacious Bucket. It punished you for benching Pokemon. It just it sucked, and it also rewarded the player going first playing Palkia. Lugia mirrors weren't that bad. Lugia mirrors weren't that bad. 
Arc Intel mirrors were boring because it literally was just like, you would just go hit Inteleon Sharon's care. Oh, I spelled, did I spell the name wrong? Did I actually spell the name wrong in the title? I apologize for that. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, let me change that. Was it? Uh, yeah, I might have, hold on. Did I put an N in the name by accident? Oh, yeah, I put it, uh, I put an N instead of a K. My bad. I apologize for that. I apologize. I put an, yeah, I put an N in the name instead of a K. My bad. My bad, my bad. What made Palkia no longer the best deck? Um, Lugia V-Star. Lugia V-Star killed Palkia. It was, we went for, okay, we went, Arc V-Star was the best card in the game, and then Palkia came out, and then Palkia was best card, and then Lugia came out, Lugia was best card in the game. Like, every new V-Star that came out made the other V-Star less relevant. Kind of. Well, okay, to be fair, Ark was actually still really good when Palkia existed. That's a lie. Actually, Ark was still broken, but... Yeah, Palkia was very good. I'm usually flawless. Yeah, that's my bad. I didn't, I didn't know I uh, had the title incorrect. That's probably when I was typing the title out. K and N are so close on the keyboard. I probably just accidentally pressed the N. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Apologize for that. The name's on YouTube is correct, right? Yeah, that's my bad. The name on YouTube is spelled correct, just not on Twitch. Sorry about that. The Midnight V-Star talk? I'm, bro, I'm down to just chat, bro. I love chatting. I'm a yapper. I love chatting. Yeah, Palkia, it was funny. Like, Palkia was very good. Even in the Lost Origin format, it was still, like, BDIF. And then Silver Tempest came out and killed Palkia. Like, Palkia just went extinct overnight. Lugia V-Star just destroyed that deck. To be fair, Palkia Articuno was actually pretty good. But, like, it doesn't... It was never that popular. It wasn't as popular as Palkia pre-Silver pre Tempest. I'm a human, bro. Exactly, bro. The whole Sword and Shield era? Yeah. I V-Star is... I Like, when V-Star's first got revealed, we were hyped. I was hyped. I thought Arceus V-Star was a really cool card. And I still enjoyed the Arc format. Apart from Arc Intel, every deck in the Arc meta was fine. Like, because now Arc Dark existed. So, like, Mew VMAX wasn't super broken. Path the Peak was really good. I don't know. The format was just very healthy. Um, yeah, the format was just really healthy. I liked, I liked the arc format. Arc format was fun because it just you just played arc with random color and it was cool. Starbirth is very broken. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing with Lugia, Palkia, and Arceus. All three of their V Star powers are just insane. They're all just insanely broken attacks or abilities. Holo V is kind of cool. I mean, Holo does have Earth and Vessel, which makes it more consistent. Maybe I can do a Holo video soon. I haven't done a Holo video in a long time. Hey, man, content ideas, bro. You got like five weeks till the next set, bro. I gotta, I gotta keep funneling content ideas. And love and Starbirth. Yeah, Arc, Arc is fun. I love doing Arc videos. Whenever, whenever I, honestly, whenever I don't have an idea for a video, I just kind of see if I have an Arceus deck built, and I'm like, oh, I'll just do a video on an Arc deck. They're fun to play. Exactly, Rickster. Me and Rickster are the biggest arc stands on the planet. Borderline still ADP. Yeah, I mean, we were just missing the Dialga decks, to be fair. Yeah, I'm down to try... I mean, I think ho could be good with Darkrai, V-Star, or with, like, Bronzong or Dialga or something. Guardian Mewtwo? Oh, with the Guardian Mewtwo video today? I wanted to, I, I did a video on that because I haven't done a Guardi video in a while. And I wanted to do something with Mewtwo. Oh, Gar wait, Guardi Mewtwo V-Star? Um, I don't know. That, I mean, that deck could be okay. I don't know. Grafii? Yo, Arceus Grafii? That's slick. Grafii did gain Earth and Vessel, to be fair. The Sword and Shield format was basically new set equals new BDIF. Yep. I mean... Yeah, I mean, yeah, we haven't really had that with Scarlet and Violet. Obsidian Flames gave us Charizard, but Charizard wasn't the BDIF when it came out. Neither was Roaring Moon. Neither was Shen Pao. 
like the the big the big attack the big card in the new set was never the BDIF when it came out. You could argue Iron Hands was kind of because Maridon, but still, yeah, I'm excited for Dialga Mitani. Dialga Superior, they're both decent. Yeah, I'm gonna catch them all. It was super cute. Yo, that was sick. That's lit. That's lit. RCS to draw out energies with Trini Nova. Oh, that's an interesting idea. That's interesting. But, like, you gotta give up two energies. I guess you can use RCS. Yeah, maybe, maybe. That's interesting. Interesting concept. Wait, what? Bro, I thought... Bro, I thought... Dude, I thought it was the next round. I saw the Mew. I'm like, wait, what? That's rotation, bro. What? I was cheating. Gardevoir and Scarlet Valdros was true superiority. Yeah, Guard Guardian, the, the Scarlet and Violet meta was insane. It almost won EUIC. It, it almost did win EUIC. So. And it almost won Worlds. I think Guardi's like the best deck that almost won twice in a row. And to be fair, that was because of Tord. But yeah. I think we're about to get in the next round. If you want Pocket, I might be able to see in the Discord. We'll see. I think I have a Grafii deck built already. Because I, I was looking at it. And then I saw that it had Earthen Vessel. So I was like, oh, it's got Earthen Vessel. Yeah, Guardi, Guardi was pretty good. Guardi was pretty good. I miss when Guardi was good. No, I'm kidding. I gar I I'm 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 conflicted on Guardi. I never was like a big fan of playing against Gardevoir. But like I never minded the card. I don't know. Gardevoir is one of those decks where it's like either you love it or you hate it. It's all right, I guess. It's okay. It's chill. By the way, I hope you all have been enjoying the stream so far as always. I think Bayonet. I think Bayonet's good. I think it's good. I think it will definitely be a playable deck in rotation. Maybe not like tier one, but like maybe I could see it. Like I could see it doing well in tournaments. It's a deck that, like, I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, a Bayonet in top 16 of a regional or something. Guardi, because I always felt like I had a chance against it. True. The one thing the one thing that's tough about Guardi, though, is it is a deck that usually likes to, like, fall behind. And it, it is tough to be Gardevoir when they set up, right? Because if they get, like, the turn one, like, getting three Curlias out in one turn and not having a good way to respond to that is scary. Because they just, like, always have any card they want every turn. Because they draw so many cards. That's, like, one of the things. But, yeah. It is interesting, though, nonetheless. For sure. I was looking at standings right now from a league challenge. That was tonight. Interesting. Cool, cool. All right. Capsulemon. Yo, the Swablu Master Ball. That's kind of sick, bro. See, Japan has, like, cool stuff. If I ever went to Japan, dude, I would not... My wallet would hurt, dude. I would probably... I wouldn't be able to fit anything back. Scarlet Violet was so much more healthy because Scarlet Violet focused on introducing many new decks while not BDIF. That's a good point. That's a good point. That is true. Because, like, Scarlet and Violet, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Scarlet and Violet always had it where it's, like, a deck was good, but, like, never... There wasn't, like, one major main deck. Yeah, that's true. There was a lot... That's true. That's true. That never... That didn't really happen in the, the Sword and Shield era, where, like, the set would have one insane new archetype, and that's it. I agree, Turbo. I mean, there's been a lot of Zard. There has been quite a few Zards we've seen, but I agree. It wasn't a definitive best. Nah, Marid Maridon's the best. Yeah, no, Coridon, unfortunately. To be fair, we are getting good Coridon cards, finally. The, the, the two Coridon Ancient cards in the new set are actually playable. Those are pretty good. 
Maridon. Maridon's been getting all the good cards, though. Netball? Maybe that'll happen tonight. I could see, I could see Netball. Yo, what up? What up, Jack O'Lantern? Yeah, we are doing a watch party right now for uh, the Champions League. It's already midnight. That's crazy. Doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it's been almost three hours. That's cool. That's cool. Full art. Full art. I've always liked full art Groudon. This full art Groudon artwork is really nice. I've always liked that. I've always liked the colors and the full art on this. Yeah, it's true, Turbo. I mean, it depends on if it's art playing against like a, a deck that's like interesting. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Yo, Danny, what's up? Yeah, they got the legendaries. Mewtwo, Ho-Oh, Lugia, Rayquaza GX. Ironically, all of these cards I've seen play except for Ho-Oh. All these cards have actually been playable except for Ho-Oh. I mean, Ho-Oh's not bad, but it's never been that good. Yeah, no worries, trainer. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Good night, good night. Netball could happen. Honestly, dude, they should probably print Netball again. Dude, grass decks need support. Grass like is like on life support right now. Torterra EX, bro, it's not going to revive it, bro. I I agree. I Well, no, Black, didn't X and Y introduce the... No, wait, what set introduced the foils? I was a big fan of the, the reverse hollows from the black and white era. Reverse hollows, the reverse hollow pre-black and white was good. No, pre-next destinies. Next destinies is when they added the... The, the the new reverse hollow effect. The old reverse hollow effect pre next destinies is the best reverse hollow effect. I guess if you're talking hollows, hollows look nice here. As a Rudy X. Yeah, give us the rude superior. I don't know. I mean I guess Iron Leaves is pretty good. I think Iron Leaves is actually like a decent card. And it has actually been pretty good in Japan so far from what it looks like. It's been in my multiple different decks. Ancients played it, Arcs played it, Lost Zones played it. But yeah. Sorrentio reverses are mid, yeah. I'm a big fan of the uh, the Paradox reverse hollows. The Paradox are, the paradox reverse hollows are pretty nice. Scyther EX? Well, we got a Scissor EX. I don't know if they can do that. I don't know if they would do that. Yeah, and then Fortress, facts. I mean, grass Pokemon have interesting cards. We have Cherim, Fortress, Toad's Cruel. Um, but we just don't have, like, the grass The grass types just suck, bro. There's, like, they're all just, like, mediocre. It's so, it sucks, dude. It's, it's, it's like, bro, give us, give us better grass Pokemon. All right, next round's about to start. Let's go. Wait. No, it's not. I'm trolling. Paracross the X would be cool. Pin X maybe. The best hollow pattern. Iron Leaves. Yeah, maybe we'll see Iron Leaves on stream next. Iron, Iron Leaves is pretty good. That's that's actually like a playable grass. That's like maybe the most playable grass Pokemon in the format. Other than like, yeah, pretty good. Like what's the best grass types in the game right now? Tropius. That's it. Tropius. Shaman V kind of. Not really. Superior V-Star? I don't know. Grass types, just, they're mid, bro. It was Meowth Skarada, but yeah. Lilligan has potential, but yeah. It's kind of unfortunate. Sunflora? Sunflora's cool, but I don't think it's, like, great. But I, I do want to do an updated Sunflora video. I do have that. I do have that on the agenda. I do have that built. Don't worry. I, I Trust me. You, you bring up a card, I usually already have that deck built. I spend a lot of, I spend a lot of time crafting decks because obviously i need to make sure i have decks all the time for content but i do genuinely i do genuinely enjoy sitting on live or and just looking up every card and seeing what i can do with it yeah chestnut v is kind of cool I, i've been working on a chestnut v deck I'll, I'll probably do a chestnut v for a bad deck friday down the road before rotation yeah that's true bro yo there's synergy right there Grafia. All right, we got Roaring Moon, a Lost Box versus... I actually don't know what that is. What the other deck is? I wasn't looking. A deck tank creator? Yeah. I I do spend a lot of time just building decks. I Like, a lot of time. Like, I will usually spend a couple hours building decks. 
which is, I actually find that fun. I find it fun sitting on on the client and just like building decks. It's it's fun. I enjoy it. It also gives me like a consistent stream of decks I want to play. Like if I build a cool deck on live and I'm like I want to play this deck for a video now because I'm excited to try it out. It gives me motivation now to, you know, make a video. Like, it keeps me, it kind of keeps me, like, motivated to what, like, there's days where I'll wake up and I'm like, I don't know what the heck I'm going to record a video on. But, like, if I make a deck the night before and I'm like, I kind of want to try this now for a video idea. Like, it just kind of, it comes naturally, you know. It's just not V's kind of sick. I mean, I don't hate it right now. I'm definitely going to work on a video on Chestnut V. It could be pretty fun. You hit, like, Charizard for 260, they knock you out, you knock them out in return, bro, it's sick. The attackers in your fortress box are Superior Shaman, Woshin, and Iron Hands. I honestly, those aren't even bad attackers. The Iron Hands is kind of cool. Deck building is the best. Most games I play are deck builders. It's fun, yeah. Max min or uh, min rarity. I'm a I, IRL. I do min rarity usually, but max rarity has always my been my thing on the online client. Wait, what that? What's my wait? What is the opponent playing? Psychic fighting Greninja. I have no idea. I'm like drawing a blank right now. I actually don't know what the Greninja deck is supposed to be. Greatest Mill. Oh, is it? Oh. That's probably a good matchup for Great Tusk, I guess. Lost Zone kind of mills himself. Oh, yo, yeah, it might be Guardy Bolt. That's true. Yeah, maybe it is Guardy Bolt. Yeah, yeah, actually, it might be. Yeah, and I think it Dawn. He might get Dawn. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Nah, there's no way they would show us a stream game and just have it be over in two turns. Nah. They're they're showing us, like, a past stream game. There's no way they would just be a Donk. I refuse to believe it. He should have it. There's no way, bro. There's no way bro doesn't have it. This is best of one for you, though, folks. This is best of one in a nutshell. Yo, Jason, what's up, bro? How we doing? How's the lead challenge? Yeah, Psychic Landing Fight. If it's, if it's Gardevoir. I don't think Gardevoir is good with Raging Bolt. I, I refuse to believe that that deck's real, but it's cool. I think Raging Bolt is better with Sandy Shocks and Palkia or Mirage Gate. Round three... I think they're just trying to pass the time. It's fair enough. The off-meta genius? Maybe. Best of one losing RNG more often than the opponent. This is yeah, the issue with best of one. This guy is, like, bro almost lost. He got, bro got really lucky he didn't just lose on the spot there. He could just lost on the spot immediately to the Roaring Moon deck. And it's bad. He bricked. Does he? Okay, I imagine this is an actual game. There's no way they're showing a game where the guy bricks twice. Yeah, there you go. That's probably going to give them cards to play the game. I'm like, yeah, there's no way they're going to just show a loss in two turns. Judging because we needed extra judges due to the incident? Oh, the incident last night. Oh, are you talking about the... Are you talking about the thing that happened at Manta? Best of one is bad enough, uh, but only 25 minutes is crazy. It is, yeah. Oh, it is Great Tusk. Never mind. All right, it, it, it's not Guardy. It's not Guardy uh, Radiant Bolt. It is uh, indeed Great Tusk. Oh, is that it? Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, fair enough, Jason, fair enough. What happened to Manta? Uh, it's, it's not, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter. That's why I'm wondering, the psychic energy. Oh, Mimikyu maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what the psychic energies are for. Is it off talks? Well, I just don't, I just don't wanna I just don't really want to bring it up or talk about it. Yeah, yeah. There's no there's nothing like wrong. I don't know. It's, it's just I don't know. It just it doesn't it I don't know. I just yeah, I just wanna I just wanna talk about it. It's not I didn't do anything. I'm just saying like I just don't want to bring up the situation and like do any I don't know. It was just it was just a situation that happened. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all good, Pocket. You're good, bro. You're good. <laughs> Yeah, I just I don't know. I just want to like bring up drama and beef and stuff. Best of one is bad enough. Yeah, Arcu Travolpix, your favorite deck? I think it's good. I mean, it, it did get farmed by Lugs though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, stay focused on the positivity, exactly. 
All right. Great Tusk Mill versus Reinman. Hmm. I imagine this game's actually long. There's no way they're showing a short game, right? The positive vibe, yeah. yeah. There's no way this game is short. They gotta be showing a full game. So I imagine the Great Tusk player actually gets to stay in the match. Because, like, the Roin Moon is good because you can kill one of the Great Tusks. You have to go through five of them. Or you have to go through six of them, potentially. Or you, you have to... You can't Frenzy Gouging six times. I guess you could still use Frenzy Gouging to get access to, like, Super Rod and Loop Roin Moon. I don't think that's going to work, though. It's probably unlikely. My first Pokemon cards? My first Pokemon cards? Probably like black and white era. Yeah, I agree, Shorty. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He probably just wants it discreet, yeah. You can kill a Calamity Storm? There has to be a stadium in play, though. Great Tusk has, what, 130, 140 HP? Yeah, you need a stadium in play to knock it out. And if the Great Tusk player obviously just doesn't put a stadium in play, and also, uh, yeah. If they mill stadium, the Lost Box doesn't play that many stadiums. There's got to be, like, two stadiums in the deck most, right? A starter pack or theme deck? I think it was a, I think it was a starter pack. I, I think it was just, like, a normal pack of cards. Yeah, you wouldn't need a stadium in play, yeah. If the okay, I could the Great Tusk player probably wins if the Roaring Moon player has to has to two shot Great Tusk. Oh what happened? Ooh, something happened. Oh no. Yeah, it's lost box. It's it's moon, yeah. So they gotta have like what, two stadiums, maybe three? First Pokemon card was first edition Charmeleon that came inside a Nintendo Power. Jeez. Harkle's the Silver Series? Yeah. I think my first cards were probably... I think it was like pre-Diamond and Pearl. It, I think it was pre-Diamond and Pearl. It was probably like... Power Keepers, maybe? Okay, maybe not that far back. I don't know. I remember like... I remember I pulled a Fighting Swampert. That was like one of my first ever cards I ever pulled was a Fighting-type Swampert. A, ooh, shattered glass. Yeah, the the promo, the promo hollows in that set were pretty nice in the black and white era. Was base set Growlithe for, love for the dog? Growlithe is nice. Yeah, the base set Growlithe. I gotta do another video on Arcane 90X to be fair. The fighting Swampert. That I'm, I have vivid memories of that being maybe the first Pokemon cards I bought. I didn't get started in the TCG. I got started in the V, the video games first. Pokemon Gold was like the first thing I played, and then I got into the TCG. I didn't start playing the TCG until, like, 2008, I think. Early 2009. Sometime in that, sometime in that like, pocket of time. Black and white base? Yeah. I gotta give the Doge some love. Exactly. The format going back to single prizes, potentially, like the Diamond and Pearl uh, Sword and Shield era. Or Diamond and Pearl Hawk Crystal Silver era, sorry. Um, maybe. The problem with that, though, is they've already printed EXs. If they wanted to revert back to that format, they would not have rule boxes i can see them doing it but i think that the the rule box pokemon like exs and v stars and v maxes and stuff they it just it sells well because people like it's it's better for like kids to like collect cards like that you know what i mean like if a kid opens up a pack of cards and pulls like a cool ex card it's more appealing and they'll want to buy more packs or whatever i, I feel like they're just probably i don't think we're ever going to see a one prize format ever again like i don't i don't see that ever happening ever again because rule box Pokemon just they sell really they just sell too well. They just they're too appealing to like the kids and stuff. Or even just newer players. Like you buy a pack of Pokemon cards and you pull like a a cool looking EX card, like that's like probably cooler than pulling like a pulling like a hollow card in my opinion. A good Latios Latias deck. I mean, we did get the uh we did get the Latios Latias the the Latios Latias combo deck in Paradox Rift. Quite the break, yeah, jeez. That is quite the break. Bro probably came back and was like, wait, what the heck? 
The collectors versus the players debate? Yeah. The anime, funnily enough, was my first game was Platinum. Yeah. I, I think I went, I think it went for me. It was like video games. It was like video games, anime, TCG, in that order. Or maybe, it might have been anime first. I don't think it was, I don't think I got in the anime first. I definitely think it was the video games first. Because I, I remember, I remember I used to get, like as a kid, I used to get babysat before I went to school. And one of the, one of the babysitter's kids had Pokemon Gold. And I remember like watching him play that all the time. And that got me interested in the game. That I do vividly remember that, and that I think was before I ever watched the TC watched the uh, the TV show. But I got into the TV show not too long after. I used to have, I used to have a VHS collection of all the uh, the season one VHS. Not every single one, but most of the VHS, um, Pokemon VHS tapes. They're like they're they they're like a red VHS. They're like a red VHS tape or whatever. I had a ton of those. I think I got rid of. I sold them before I moved. Like while back but i used to have like a lot of those vhs tapes which i kind of regret getting rid of but i don't know and then i got on the tcg not too long after prime cards legend cards would be cool i probably i don't know if they bring back prime cards though prime cards they're cool but they're not like exv max cool where like a little kid will open it up and be like oh my god you know Legends would be cool because they have unions, bro. Basically, diet versions of legends. Or legends were diet versions of unions. Working from there? It could happen. I, I don't know, though. I, I feel like we're too far gone from one prize metas. Like, I don't know. Ever since, ever since Mewtwo V, ever since Mewtwo EX came out, it just feels like Pokemon have no intentions of going back to a slower format. Or at least like not a not a one prize meta. Honestly, even the one prize metas were kind of fast. Like Zekrom Pachirisu was a really good back was a really good deck back in the day. And that that was like a donk deck. The slowest like metas we had for one prizers probably were like pre 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 Arceus sets or pre platinum sets. Like Lux Chomp, I think Lux Chomp was one of the first like aggro turbo decks type things. I don't know. Lux Trump was like a really good deck back in the day is what I'm trying to say. The Union was sick, bro. They should bring him back. Yeah, I agree. They they definitely did dumb the game down. That's why I don't think we're ever going to see one prize decks. Like, I don't think we're ever not going to be in a meta where there's no two prizers. Like, I think they're always going to be two prizers from now on. They just sell really well. Like, yeah, it, dumbing, dumbing the game down does it sells well and i mean honestly it's not like that bad like i don't think two prizes are like bad for the game or anything like honestly nowadays if if best of three 50 minutes with only one prize decks that probably i don't know i don't know if that would work i don't know if best of three best of three with in a format with only one prizers probably wouldn't work it would be a lot of like game one wins game two goes to time game one winner wins the set that's probably the issue with doing that. That's why that's why two prizers are fine for the game. Even though it it dumbs the game down. Two prizers like speed the game up a lot because you I don't know, it just it, it things go faster, which I think is also good for the game. Like everyone talks about like the Diamond and Pearl era coming back of like just one prize Pokemon being in the format, but like one a one prize meta just probably wouldn't work in today's format of like best of three fifty minutes. It just wouldn't work. I don't think it would work anyways. It would, it would be like Gardevoir Mirrors. It would just always go to time. That's why, like, having decks like Moon and Maridon in the format where, like, games can end really quickly, there's nothing wrong with that. Ray X only had 100 HP. I mean, if they dumb down the health, maybe, yeah. Two prizes as long as they're not exclusively basics. I don't know. Like, I like the base... I like EXs because they evolve from one prizers, but... V stars were kind of like it was kind of dumb because it was like the same thing. Like if you go first with Arceus or Palkia or Lugia, you usually won that game because you had an early advantage over your opponent because you can knock out their two prizers before they took out your two prizer. Two prizers are fine if they evolve from one prizers, in my opinion. I do like the healthy mix of I do like the healthy mix of evolving two prizers from other two prizers with the V stars and V maxes and EXs evolving from one prizers and basic EXs. I think that that's healthy. That's It's a good mix. It's a good mix. I think it's healthy. They just need to not make 
cards like Sableye and Iron Hands or one prize decks kind of struggle. That's the that's the issue. If the the format was a healthy mix of one prizers, two prizers, and three prizers of these different mechanics, then it would be really good for the game. But stuff like Sableye and Iron Hands makes that hard for one prize decks to exist. Yeah, you're V trying for it pretty much. You're gonna miss Zoro Box, same here. Yeah, the HP obviously is another big deal. Like Charizard X having three third HP is insane. How many cards does the Lost Zone player have left? Now I'm curious. Yeah, Iron Hands does force a two prize game, yeah. Iron Hands isn't as bad as we all made it out to be. It's a very good card. It's annoying to lose to. Like literally if you don't respond to it, a lot of the time you just lose. But yeah. The 30 is ungodly, yeah. It is evil, that is facts. Yeah, Char Charizard is one of those cards that, like, it exists, bro. It's too good. All right, they got the Hisuian Heavy Ball. As long as Mew dies. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I get the hate for Mew. I don't I feel like Mew is just no longer relevant. Or, like, it's not as bad as it used to be. Back in the day, yeah, but now it is. It's like Palkia. Like, like I said, like, I didn't like, Pal I didn't like the Palkia format. But now Palkia is, like, not that popular. I don't know. I I see a lot of I see a lot of hate from Mew online still. I don't get it, dude. Mew's not I don't know. Mew's not popular anymore. Dark energy is evil energy. Kind of is to be fair. Kind of is. True that. Yeah, what's up, Golden? We're doing a watch party. Um, I think we have half an hour until the new card reveals, right? New card reveals should be at 1 a.m. Hopefully they're at 1. I don't want to be up till like 2 a.m. I still have to, I still have to get tomorrow's video uploaded. So like I'm still gonna be up for a while. So I don't want to let, and I have to record a second channel video. Um, once this, once all this translations are live on Poggy Beach, so I don't want to be here all night. The reveals are at 1, right? They, they should be at 1 a.m. Any spec stadium or something that doubles damage? Uh, if it was for single prizers, maybe. I think a card like Shrine of Punishment should come back. I've I've preached that. Shrine of Punishment's a good card to have in the game. Shrine of Punishment would be a really good stadium to have in the game. Something that just puts one damage counter on rule box Pokemon every single turn, I think is a great card to have in the format. That's what I'm saying, Owen. Now what's the problem? They, all the single prizers just don't do enough damage. Because they they just don't they don't power creep the single prizers as much as they do the two prizers. So Charizard having three thirty HP is a problem because all the one prize Pokemon that can attack it only do like hundred and forty damage. For example, the brand new single prize Woshian card only does hundred and forty damage. That doesn't one shot Charizard. That card could be good if Charizard had two eighty HP, but it doesn't. It's just stuff like that. It's like Pokemon make these beastly Pokemon, but they don't buff the one prizers. That's why one prizers just suck. Even if Sableye and Iron Hands didn't exist. Yeah, the Cinchino's insane, Coco, I agree. We were watching that earlier. It actually, it beat a Gudra deck. So. Yeah, I think they should, honestly, I, I, I think they should just print Path the Peak and Trying to Punishment again. I think both Path and Trying to Punishment are good cards to have in the format. I think Path, Path is a very good card to have in the game. Yo, what up, Tanish? How we doing? Welcome out of the stream. We're watch partying the new Champions League today. Um, I think we're waiting on the next round, I'm pretty sure. That's why we're, we're watching a... Uh, I'm pretty sure we're watching, like, a, a pass match, I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah, the One Prize Ancient Box deck looks really good. I can't wait for that. I might just exhaust you. <laughs> How the balance between basic stage ones and stage twos overperforming the other is always bad for the game. No, I agree. I agree. That's the well. The problem is a lot of the the one prize decks that are good usually are basic one prize decks because like evolving is just too slow. New card reveal. It should be at one a.m. So like half an hour, I think. Yeah, path is rotating. The Gudra deck with Shintaro. Wait, we we were watching Shintaro. I didn't even realize. Yeah, row to the top. Yo, honestly, probably. Yo, if we see a stadium reveal tonight, chat, and it looks kinda it looks kinda anti-meta-y, 
we'll know if it's PATH. Because we had what? PATH, Power Plant, Silent Lab. If you showed me PATH, Power Plant, and Silent Lab right now, and I didn't know what those cards did, I would immediately assume they did what they did. Because they just look like cards that would do that. I disagree. I, I The thing with the path just keeps cards in check. I think it's it's just good to have. It's also not hard to counter because there's cards like Lost Vacuum. And there's a good mix of stadiums in the format right now. There's a lot of there's a lot of good stadiums like Artisan, Temple of Sinnoh, Collapse Stadium, Lost City, Pokestop. So like I think it's fine to have Path. Because like if Path was the best card, if the if the Path was like one of the only good stadiums, it would be bad. That's why Chaotic Swell sucked. Because all the other stadiums sucked too. But Path the Peak is fine to have in the game because there's so many other good stadiums you can play. Some decks have to play certain cards. Like Lost Box sometimes has to play Artisan and Pokestop. Shen Pao has to play Pokestop, right? Charizard, you know, Gardevoir have to play Collapsed. So, like, there's just a good, there's a good healthy mix of stadiums. That's why there's not, there's nothing wrong with having Path in the format. Wait, yeah, yeah. Grafia and Rest Carrier and Baby, Evo over 90 over 90. You gotta stay 90 HP below. True, true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stop, stop, bizarre. Basically, that's why. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I want Path to come back. It, it, it's good to have in the format when Charizard is like so good. Like, if we, it, I don't know, if this is gonna happen, but if we get to a format where Charizard is on the level of Lugia, in pop, like if, yeah, if if Charizard is like the same level of like Lugia popularity during the Silver Tempest format, I, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be like, dude, no way. That would suck. I would. I don't think that's going to happen, but if we get into a format where Charizard is, like, as popular and big as Silver Tempest Meta Lugia was, bro, I would quit the game. I'd be like, all right, this, this game sucks. I'd quit, bro. I wouldn't actually quit. I lied, but I would be like, all right, this, we, we got to reevaluate. We got to reevaluate some of the decisions you make over there at Pokemon. Yeah, o ODIF, pretty much. I hate as a Lugia player. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's counters to Pat. It's not the worst card ever. Maybe they assume Devo keeps Zard in check. It doesn't keep Zard in check. I think it, it's good against Zard, but like it's not Zard. You just don't you don't just auto win because you play a Team Devo in your deck. That's the problem. I agree, Justin. Garbotoxin should get reprinted. I hundred percent. I hundred percent agree. Maybe they'll reveal something tonight. I don't know how many cards are gonna get revealed tonight. I don't know if it's gonna be like a ton of new cards, but we'll see. Hopefully, it is. We'll see though. A dummy strong grass headliner that isn't just iron leaves. I don't... That's the problem, though. It's like, Charizard... Like, if you play an all-grass deck against Charizard, Charizard can still beat you because of Radiant Charizard. Radiant Charizard is a problem. And they have Pidgeot, too. Like, they have Pidgeot. They can also use Pidgeot against you. So, I don't know. It's not... It's not a guaranteed... Yo, the Lost Box deck beat the Great Tusk Mill. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Garbotoxin's great. I think it's a good ability to have. I... Garbotoxin, Path, and Shrine of Punishment, all those should have, one of the, at least two of those cards should get reprinted. Maybe not Path and Garbotoxin. That would be just one or the other, but still. It's like 10 ish. It's one set this time instead of two. Yeah, it's true. It's a bit of a minier set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Well, not mini set, but yeah, it's one set instead of two. It'll be the, the third set that'll be a part of Temporal Forces. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think the set's going to have, like, any super broken cards. Or, I mean, it might. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll have... Maybe it'll have broken cards. But, like, they already revealed a good chunk of, like, stuff. Like, prime, like all the ace specs and stuff. So, I don't know if they'll do that. But maybe. It'd be cool, though. Bro pulled his phone. <laughs> yeah, bro was bored. He's like, oh, I won. Let me go my phone. That's funny. Devo Lost City could be the new Iono path. Eh, maybe. Probably not, though. Wait. This is another... Wait, I'm confused. Oh, you... Oh, wait. I'm... Wait. Is this another... Is this another, like, old match? They didn't show this. I think they... Oh, you know what? I think they do they stream multiple they they have like multiple matches that they record at once and then they show this after. Are we waiting on top cut now or something? 
Cass could be good as long as it's uh, by another name. So this could be good. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully we get the card reveals in 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't, don't want to be up till like 2 in the morning. Because I still got to do... I got to make a video. For, well, not make... I, I, the video is like done recording. I just have to like finish editing it. But yeah. I still got work to do, baby. The hand sleeves. Those are kind of dope. Japan has really nice sleeves. But yeah. The problem with the... the problem, there's such nice designs. They just, like, after a while, they, they kind of, like, they get, they tear a lot. They get really sticky. Or you could argue Dragon Shield gets sticky, too, obviously. But, like, it's, like, I don't know. They're just cool. They do have Grafia accessories. I don't like about Path that it's much very easy to make it only punish your opponent. and leads to not really slowing down the format that much. It's, it is one of those cards, like, you need to have a thing. Yeah. You need to have the answer, but it's, I don't know. If your deck is if your deck loses to path though, you can just like play more path bumps though. Your bros blinged out. The glossy ones get sticky, yeah. Oversleeves? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Maybe yeah, it's probably oversleeves. True, true. True that. That helps, that helps. Oh, Azard Mirror, bro. What? Yo, Jason with the tier one sub, yo. Appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Thank you for that sub, bro. Path bumps, loss of ease. Exactly, exactly. Does that mess with, uh... Is this in an internal format? True, true. No, it's all good, Jason. I appreciate it. I appreciate that, bro. Dark is weak to poison? Yeah. Hmm, interesting, interesting. That is interesting, Justin. Hmm. The Zard Mirror, bro. They had to put the Zard Mirror on stream. No shot. That's crazy. Zard Mirror is kind of hard. Oh, shoot. Almost knocked my drink over. Stream breaking out for you guys? Uh, Looks fine on my end. Yeah, don't, don't say there's anything wrong on... Yeah, it's probably your Wi-Fi, yeah. Yeah, I know. They had to put the Zard Mirror, bro. The Bibzard Mirror. I think this is the last game, though, until the card reveals, right? It should be. Bibzard, okay, Bibzard Mirror is not as, it's not as, it's not as boring as Pidgeyzard Mirror. Pidgeyzard Mirror is boring. It's not boring, but, like, it's just, like, it's kind of, it's just kind of, like, I don't know. It can be, uh, it is boring, but. Uh, Bibzard Mirror is probably a bit different just because Bibbrel's random. It's not guaranteed like Pidgeot is. But let's get the Prime Catcher in the deck. Predictable? Yeah. Feels are supported drop roughly around midnight, my time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw on like Twitter, it was like 1 a.m. is like the time it said. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Pidgeot makes you want a Z. It does, yeah. Okay, Bib Bibzard, I mean, Zard's, Bibzard's a little more interesting than Pidgeot because there's like. It's more random. You don't know what's going to happen because you have Bibberol, right? You're not playing Pidgey where you just go, oh, I need a boss, a boss. Yeah. It's a bit different. It's kind of cool. Battle Crusher and Trump card? Nah, no shot. That's what we're wondering. We're going to see, I guess we're going to see if there's any more Ace Specs revealed in the new set. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say there is. I'm going to, I'm going to say that we might get a new Ace Spec revealed. I don't think they're going to reveal... Like, more than, like, maybe one or two. Or maybe they won't reveal any at all. Um, maybe the next the next, the next, next main set will have more ace specs. Maybe they're not going to release them right now. <laughs> you took the dub as Grafia, bro, the Grafia warrior. They haven't said for certain. I'd be amazed if ace specs were one set only. They were advertised as Block's gimmick. Yeah, it's like it was like in the black and white era too, where like Boundaries Cross gave us A specs. They didn't give us that many A specs compared to Temporal. But yeah, yeah, I would be surprised. I think we're probably gonna see at least one or two A specs revealed because Temporal Forces already is gonna have a ton of A specs already in it. So there's a good chance we uh there's a good chance we uh we see uh we see more A specs. 
Yeah, probably Justin. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, maybe like one or two. There's, there's already like six of them. I don't think they'll do. They're not gonna do not. Yeah, they're not gonna go. They're gonna. They're not gonna give us like three A specs per set that's in temporal forces. I don't see that happen. No way we're gonna get nine A specs. That'd be crazy though. Zard mirror. Painting Zards in rainbow metallic flakes with all gold energies. <laughs> I had to issue the uh, double loss today because of uh, deckless errors. Three deckless errors? Jeez, that's crazy. What the heck? That's wild. Yeah, tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, yeah, they'll, they'll probably, like, they'll probably reveal stuff, like, over time. Like, we're not going to get a bunch of stuff at once, probably, like, over time, yeah. I can definitely see, like, a few EXs tonight, and then, yeah, probably maybe, like, one ace back. I, I just, I can't see this, this next, like, set that's coming to have that many more ace backs. But you never know. I'm, I haven't done a video on Grafia. I, I definitely gotta try that at one point, for sure. I haven't done a video on that yet, so I gotta do it. It's on the agenda, for sure. I feel like accessible ability locking should lock anyone, everyone you use, no advantage to anyone. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. You're dropping decklist error penalties I had uh, like crazy at my last league challenge. It was a bit silly. All because people were careless too. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, whenever I submit a decklist, I have really bad handwriting. Um, but I always make sure that every card is correct. Yeah, I always worry about that, like doing a card wrong dude whenever i get deck checked at a regional dude i actually like i'm nervous bro i'm like oh god and the guy's gonna come back and say i'm missing like five cards in my deck never happens obviously but if it does it feels bad yeah, i'm surprised people like i mean deckless errors can be common though i guess next set for japan pretty sure the next set yeah i'm pretty sure the uh the next set reveal tonight is going to be coming out I'm pretty sure it comes out, like, the same time as Temporal Forces comes out for us. <laughs> what the heck, a Mariah? That's wild, Puffy. What the heck? Maybe Computer Search. I, I could see it, but, like, now that Prime Catcher has been kind of rivaled, like, Maximum Belt is... Like, Maximum Belt has proven that it might be better than Prime Catcher. Um, I don't know if we're going to get computer search. There's no reason to print computer search now, now that Prime Catcher does have some decent rivals. They draw, ooh, the Crimson Haze pack art. Let's go. I almost got dq This is such a local thing, and I asked everyone around me, they didn't bother with the set number and such. Bruh. Yeah, I always put the set number and stuff just in case. What's up, Spider? How we doing? We're doing a watch party. We're just chilling, chatting, watching the uh, Champions League right now. Should be new card reveals in 12 minutes. Yeah, I think after the card reveals, I'm going to end the stream. Um, because Poke Beach will post the scans and translations. And then I got to record the video, get that out before I go to bed. And then I got to get tomorrow's video uploaded too. Oh. I still got some work to do. Yeah, Baby Maridon. That is, that's, that, bro, it got to be a fake card. Yeah, 12 minutes of Japan, yeah. This has to be the last game. This is like, there's like, yeah, 11 minutes before the hopeful 11 minutes till the new stuff gets revealed. Gotta get some rest. I never sleep. I never sleep. A flapple, hydra flapple? Maybe. Maybe it'll be a grass type or a dragon type. We'll see. What's up, Jose? Yeah, we're doing a bit of a late night watch party right now. Uh, we're just chilling, watching the Champions League. Um, new cards about to get revealed in ten minutes too, so that's good. DDM promo, maybe. Could be. Bring back gold potion. That'd be a meme. I don't even know if any deck would play that. Out Gudra maybe. You can be Diplin. Yo, Diplin. Imagine.
Max potion, no drawback. Uh, max potion, no drawback. I, that seems a little good. I don't know. That seems a little too good. As long as I mean, if it discards the energy, though, I guess it's fair. But we already have Turo in the format. I don't know if they would do that. Turo's like not the same thing, but it's like kind of similar. Hyper potion. New Master Ball card. Well, Master Ball Ace Pack's already been revealed, though, so you can't do that. The card reveal work? Yeah, so they're going to reveal cards on stream here, and then we're going to see all the, like, Poke Beach and whatever. They're going to they're gonna post the scans and translations of what the cards do, because they're going to be in Japanese, right? We're not, they're not going to reveal the English versions of the cards on stream. They're going to be in Japanese. So then they're going to get translated probably within the next hour after revealed. And then they either yeah, then they're gonna come out in uh, temporal forces. It'll be for the set after temporal forces. Quick ball, yo, quick ball e spec. Yeah, that that feel that seems a little underpowered. That seems a little underpowered because at that point you just play master ball. Master ball is literally the best ball card e spec you could print, to be honest. Luxury Ball would be cool. I agree. That'd, that'd be a cool reprint. Double Quick Ball? Double Quick Ball? Yeah, maybe. I guess that would work. Battle VIP as an A spec would be hilarious. Dude, if they do that, bro, I I don't know what to tell them. Pokemon are actually trolls if they print a Battle VIP Pass A spec. I could see it. That's the that's the ironic thing, bro. I could see it. I could legit see a Battle VIP A spec. I don't think that'll happen, though, because, like, Buddy Poffin clearly was, like, the... Uh, Clearly, Body Poffin was designed as a Battle VIP replacement, but that would be hilarious if they did that. It would be fun. It would be a good troll. It would be a good troll. Maybe for April Fools, they'll reveal that. That would be funny, actually. It would be hilarious. That, I don't know if they would do that. If they did that, though, Pokemon are actually, like, goaded. They're not goaded. That would actually be pretty dumb. But it would be funny, though. Pokemon Fan Club? Nah. Pokemon Fan Club wouldn't probably see play. That'd be interesting for sure. I don't know. A Bidu face back. MVP pass. The evil version of Battle VIP basically would be what it was. I could see, okay. I could see an A spec be like, uh, oh, you know what they could do with A specs actually? They could make A spec tool cards that are signature to ancient and future Pokemon. Kind of like how they did the, the the black and white Kyurem tool cards. They actually might do that. They kind of gave us future A-specations or uh, A-specs already though. But I could see that. I could see I could see a uh, I could see a I could see an ancient or future A-spec tool card. I could see them doing that actually. V-Star A-spec? Nah. The Kyurem A-spec? That'd be dope. I think that'll happen. Maybe we'll even get an A spec energy. Maybe we'll get A spec special energies for ancient and future Pokemon. Scoop up Cyclone. That'd be interesting. I that wouldn't be a terrible card to bring back, but uh, I don't know. G booster for damage. <laughs> Yo, G booster for Iron Hands EX. You think so, Dead Maniac? Maybe. We eventually get Legends, Genesect, they could be different Terra Drives for it. Yeah, maybe if that does happen. Name like Temporal Capsule. That's what I was thinking, yeah. They, they might do an A-Spec for future Ancient Pokemon. I don't know how it would work. Because, honestly, bro, Ancient Booster Capsule and Future Booster Capsule are already kind of OP cards. Because they're literally... Those two are, like, two of the strongest tools combined into one. Literally... Future Booster Capsule is literally Floatstone and Muscle Band in one card. Two of the best tool cards of all time in one card. So I don't know. Maybe I don't know how they would top that for future, but maybe. Ancient's like, I mean, Ancient Booster Capsule has proven itself to be a good card, but I don't know if it's like, it's not two of the best tools put into one. Yeah, a, a type changing tool would be interesting. We haven't really seen that before, I don't think. Like, I don't think we'll get, like, Victory Star back. Like, some random Victory Star for, like, a random Pokemon. It'll probably be, like... It'll probably be, like, Ancient and Future tool cards. They could give us, like, a Roaring Moon and an Iron Hands tool card, maybe. Oh, you know what they're gonna do? Maybe they'll give us, like, a Maridon and a Karidon EX-specific tool card. Kind of like they did with Black and White Kyurem. Maybe they'll do... Maybe they'll do... Maybe they'll do that. I 
dropped something and now I can't find it. All right, never mind. Yeah, maybe they'll do that. They'll give us a Maridon and Karidon ancient A spec card, something like that. Like Maridon, Maridon belt or something silly like that, maybe. Well, it looks like the uh, the Bibzard player wins the game. The one on the, uh, yeah, the Bibzard player, the Radzard wins. I don't know how the, uh, well, it has to be Radzard. Dude, yo, the Del Fox, yo. <laughs> God. Yo, the Del Fox, bro, what? That's jokes, dude. Yo, that's actually jokes. Wait, yo, oh no, didn't, yo, oh no, the person from earlier, they left, I think, right? No, dude, I think the person from earlier that was talking about Delphox left, right? Or was that you, Pocket? No, I can't remember. They did leave. No, bro, they missed it. No. Oh, that sucks, bro. Yeah, yeah, dude, the person that was hyping up the Delphox all night, they missed the Delphox on stream, dude. Rip. Yeah, yeah, dude, rip, bro. No. Oh, F in the chat, dude. Maridon sandwich, Karidon sandwich? Yeah. All right, four minutes, chat. Yeah, okay, definitely it's after this. They definitely had a game to fill in the time. Yeah, you were the Graphia. Yeah, there's Graphia and Delphox. Yeah, dude, that sucks, bro. They could have been, been in the chat to see that. I was thinking that, Jason. I I replied to Sashi's tweet today about that, but I was actually being serious. I actually, there you go, bro. It beats beats the mirror. That's actually kind of funny. Yo, best of one. See, yo, be, this is why best of one is kind of good because obviously the Bibzar player didn't know the Delphox was in the deck probably because it's best of one. So you can just randomly cheese a win out of nowhere with the Delphox. But best of three, it's not good because then, oh, I'm just going to bench Manaphy now. Oh, look at that. He trolled today. Oh my God, what did he play? This is why best of one works kind of in Japan because stuff like this is like good because yeah. He's playing Zard. Yeah, Sashi's been on Zard for a while. Yeah. I know, I know about his like list that he's got. It can, it can allow cheese. True, true. Best of two. Hitting one guardy. Yeah, dude. Sashi, he's trolling all the time. He's trolling all the time. The new cards from tonight? Yeah, yeah. On the second channel, uh, we're going to react to the new card reveals. Are they revealing them right now? We're going to react to them. And then after, we're going to... I got I to gotta film the second... Well, I got to wait until the scans go up on Pokey Beach. It's going to probably be within the hour. Let me know how many cards get revealed. First to nine prizes overall. What do you think the new Maridon EX coming in Temporal Forces? It's pretty good. It's good in Future Box. Yeah, this, this is why Best of One is good in Japan, right? Because my the opponent, like, they went for the... The Delphox just ran... It just won him the game, bro. Like, in Best of Three, that Delphox player would not have won the Best of Three, probably. As easily. Because the Delphox would have been discovered. Okay. Best of One. I know the Delphox is not a... Guy didn't see the Delphox coming. Lost the game. Best of three. Oh, I know you have a Delphox. You don't think of that fall there. I'm going to bench Manaphy in game two now. Now the Delphox is less effective. Best of one? Yeah, just, bro, just, it stole the game. Yeah, Crimson Haze, folks. Here we go. Here we go, chat. New card reveals. Let's get it. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Yo, do we have any bets, chat? How, who wants to make a bet? We're going to see... Any A specs related to future ancient, or do you think there's just gonna be other A spec cards? Do you actually do you think there's gonna be an A spec? Do you think there's gonna be any new ancient future cards? What what EXs? Do you think we're gonna get any EXs for any more Paradox Pokemon? Put your bets in the chat right now, chat. Is there gonna be any new A specs? And is there gonna be any new any new Paradox Pokemon? Yeah, Ogre Pond? Yeah, yeah. Twilight Masquerade. No, this isn't it. This is, this was the old trailer. 
No, isn't it? Wait, isn't the new? No, isn't Crimson Haze in Temporal Forces? No new A specs? Maybe. Is this it? Are they revealing it, chat? Wait, no, they're not. No, they're not. This is the old trailer. It's the old trailer. After this, though. Okay, Gremlin. Bet, bet. No new Ace Packs? We'll see. Okay, we still have a few trailers. Yes, the, this is the Shining Fates trailer. Or the Paldean Fates, whatever it's called. Hydra Apple EX? Yeah, maybe. I don't think they're going to reveal every new card tonight. Probably going to be a couple. Yeah, we're not going to see every new card revealed tonight. Yeah, Shiny Treasures. That's I get the names mixed up, bro. They're all these shiny sets, whatever. The same thing. Um, Yeah, they're all the same. Cards are already X level, X of 400 HP, you imagine. Now that would be toxic. Hydra Apple probably won't be shown. They're probably going to show the, the Ursa Luna EX, probably. Iron Jugulus? Hopefully. Yo, Iron Jugulus EX, please. They just hot garbage? They're going to be guaranteed. They usually show the good cards first. Ursa Luna will probably, yeah, yeah. We're probably going to see... Probably going to see potential Ace back. Two EX, three to two EXs. At least we're going to see the Ursa Luna EX. Yo, they're doing a chat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here, I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see the the full screen. They're doing it, chat. It's time. It's time, bro. Let's go, baby. Yo, metal. Okay, this card sucks, bro. Five attack up, bro. No way, dude. This card's garbage, bro. How are they going to reveal it? Nah, I'm just kidding. This card's probably good. It, yo, what if it has Garbotoxin? It's a basic. Yeah, five energy. Oh, it's not a Paradox either. It's not a Paradox Pokemon. 260 HP basic? Yeah. It has an ability. We don't know what it does, bro. We don't know what it does. Our Karma Rouge Ursa Luna? Depends what the effect of the attack does. Insensibility? Maybe? Wait, yo, yo, wait, wait, hold on. Zoom in on it. It does have colorless in the ability name. It's got a colorless. Yo, yeah, yeah, chat, chat. It's got colorless in the ability name. Bro, it does something, dude. It does something, chat. Yeah, translation should go live soon. Yo, we got a Screamtail EX. Yo. Oh, wait, wait, there's more. Oh, my God, wait, there's Iron Thorns. Yo, let's go, Iron Thorns and Screamtail. Yo, let's go. Gardevoir saved, Chad. They Gardevoir saved, bro. They saved Gardevoir, dude. Gardevoir saved. Confirmed to be broken, bro. Yeah, dude. Yo, let's go, bro. Iron Thorns is broken, Chad. Iron Thorns is broke. Our our Gardevoir is saved, bro. Gardevoir is saved, bro. They they gave us they gave us Screamtail, bro. This card makes Gardevoir broken. I don't know what it does, but it's good with Gardevoir. Yeah, we call we call Iron Thorns. I was saying earlier tonight we're gonna get Iron Thorns EX. You know what I mean, these Pokemon? You already started. All right, yo, pocket full of monsters is a legend. This card literally saved Gardevoir, bro. Gardevoir is saved. Nah, I don't know what it does. Um, is it mid or is it good? We're gonna see, Chad. We're gonna see if it's good. Ursaluna cannot attack. That's not terrible. I mean, that's not the worst thing ever. Okay, that's not bad. The ability is what's important. Jigglypuff with a mullet? Yo, yeah, so we got the Iron Thorns. Oh, that's kind of good. Yo, it's Radiant Charizard EX? Yo, the Ursaluna's Radiant Charizard. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, for each prize they've taken? Yeah. All right, what does Iron Thorns do? Hey, Holger with the Prime Sub. 20 months. Yo, appreciate that a ton, Holger. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that Prime Sub. Thank you. Yeah, we got that Screamtail, bro. I'm hyped. Ursula can't be better than Charizard. 
not right away, but we've seen Charizard see success. Ursaluna might see the same, right? What does Iron Thorns do? All right, let's zoom in on it. Um, does something. It's a future Pokemon. Keep in mind, it does work with Electric Generator and Iron Crown EX. Keep in mind. Yeah, the attack text. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it probably works with TMs. Yo, Crisis Punch, Blood Moon. It does something. <laughs> Yo, it does something, bro. It does. I don't know what it does, but it does something. Iron Thorns looking like the Mecha Godzilla. It's a cool looking Pokemon. Yo, appreciate the follow there, Toadie GX. Iron Thorns and Screamtail both have one in the attack. Ooh, interesting. Yo, they do have one in the attack. Yeah, I didn't see that. That's true. It's got one. Ooh, yo, bro's cooking. The new Path of Peak? Wait, what? Path? Yo, Thorn is Path? Dude. No way. Is it actually? Bro. This is Path to the Peak? Yeah, can I phone? Yeah, no, I phone trans like no work. No, wait. Yo, wait. What the heck is this? Yo, Hydra Apple confirmed? Look at that, chat. Arctina Thorns, bro. Yo, Arctina saved, bro. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, shout out to Pocketful Monsters. All the characters of Roblox-based Pokemon. Oh, wow. So... That's basically Garbotoxin almost. That's like almost Garbotoxin. Because it's on a Pokemon, not a stadium this time. Dude, no way. Yeah, that's true, Turbo. Future Box is actually disgusting. That's, yo, Future Box, well, no, but wouldn't, if Future Box shuts off all non-Future Pokemon, Iron Crown still works. Dude, Future Box actually might be legit. Only Roboxes? True, but that's, I, bro, that's all I want. I just, I, I, all I want is Charizard to not have an ability, bro. That's all I ask. That's all I want. Translate the Earth's Luna? Yeah. Just when we thought Path was gone? Bro, I literally was just ranting about Path of Peak like 20 minutes ago, and they, they just reprinted it. I called it, bro. I'm, I'm a messiah, dude. I called it. I called it, bro. I'm a messiah. I told you, bro. I was like, they're going to do it. It happened, bro. I called it, chat. I called it, dude. I didn't expect to be on a Pokemon, though. I, dude, I thought it was gonna be on a. I thought it was gonna be on a, a stadium. Cause I, I said earlier, I'm like, dude, they're gonna show some like weird stadium card that looks like it's anti. Yo, <gasps> no, is that no way? Is that reset stamp? What, bro? No, is that reset stamp? What? No, is it no way? No, oh, this is not reset stamp. What? What? Dude. There is no way this is reset stamp. Bro, what? It's sorry the board game, dude. What? What does reset stamp do? It's Iono, but on an item card. But it only makes your opponent shuffle their hand back in their deck, not you. Oh my god. Turns all cards in their hands and shuffles. You draw five, your opponent draws two. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Two, five. Okay, okay, okay. It's not a reset stamp, chat. False alarm. It's not a reset stamp. It's kind of like reset stamp, but not as good. Wait, if you could do this at any time in the game, isn't this just kind of toxic? This has to be, like, at a certain point, right? That's what the first block of text has to say. There's no way this card... You can't... Dude, this is on the first turn of the game. Arvin for this card would be stupid. No, no shot. This card could ruin the game if that first block of attack is not at a specific point in the match. It ha Yo, this has to be a Roxanne item card. <gasps> Yo! Enhanced Hammer reprint! Whoa! Yo, Lucky Helmet, bro. We're so back, bro. They reprinted Lucky Helmet. We're so back, bro. We're back. Dude, the TCG's been saved, bro. The Lucky Helmet reprint. 
We're so back, bro. Best card in the set. Yo, Tinkaton stonks just went way up. Tinkaton just went way up in stonks, bro. That's crazy, bro. You can only use your mom was knocked out. Okay, good. I was going to say, that would be unfair if you could do that on the first turn of the game. That's still really good, though. What? Yo, I can't believe Pokemon printed these. Yeah, this is Enhanced Hammer. Um, It discards a special energy on your opponent's active Pokemon. Yo, this in Roaring Moon to counter Mist Energy? Yo, that's kind of gross. Because Roaring Moon already plays, like, the Pokestop, right? What's Lucky Helmet? When the Pokemon gets attacked, uh, you draw two cards. Bye-bye Lugia? No, nah, this card's not going to kill Lugia. The Enhanced Hammer and Faint of Waves are basically the same card. Enhanced Hammer is better. This is really good for control. This is a really good card for control. Potentially. Yo, more supporters in stadiums. Okay, they're revealing way more cards than I thought they would. Yeah, new waifu card, bro. Let's go. What do these do? Okay, hold on, hold on. What does this do? They both say... They have two in the name. They they Something two. Two, two. That's what I'm saying, Rickster. Bo got better. Mr. Fuji? Two in the name? Yeah, something, something to do with two. What does the stadium do? The stadium... Oh, is something with HP. Oh, wait, yo. Does this give stage one Pokemon more HP? One and HP are in the name. Wait, ten? Yeah, doesn't this give... This has to give, like... This gives more Pokemon HP, right? That's what that does? Choose up two Pokemon from your hand, show on your opponent, and return them to the deck. You can play Pokemon from your deck to your opponent as a token of gratitude. Oh, so it's like... It's like a Pokemon communication supporter card where you trade two for two. Looks like Pokemart? Yeah. Less monster right at 10 HP? Yo, maybe. Maybe. Draw two cards from your deck. You do not uh, try to mammoth card. You can still return to the deck and shuffle it. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, now we got to know what the stadium does. Okay, that the first supporter seems kind of cool, actually. Yeah, Pokemart's back. Any supporter card heals 10 HP from their Pokemon. That's interesting. Give your Mons 10 HP, plays a supporter card. Interesting. Oh, we got the trainer gallery cards. Yeah, there you go. Whoever called your Saluna, you were right. Look at that. Blood Moon. Yeah, the art rares. Let's go, baby. The Fion has to be good, right? They're hyping the Fion up like it's some good card. It does 20 damage times something. I didn't really read it. I'm not sure what it does. Yeah, their Saluna looks nice. Is that Manaphy? This is Fion. Fion. I don't know what it does. They're hyping it up like it's good because they're revealing it. They're, they reveal the good cards first. This thing has to be good, right? Each time you play a supporter card? Maybe. Hmm. Darkrai EX looks cool. Darkrai EX? You mean Darkrai V-Star? 20 damage. Oh, Darkrai EX, the promo card. It's bad, it's bad. 20 damage for each uh, fucking phone's face. Oh, okay. 20 damage for each energy on the active Pokemon. Okay. Probably not playable then, obviously, right? Put a supporter back. Okay, that's interesting. Dude, <laughs> I kind of... Bro, I want to see Twitter lose their minds over that uh, over that reset stamp A-spec card. I want to see this. It would have been hilarious if, like, they revealed the reset stamp. And it was like, that, bro, that would have broke Twitter, dude. If reset stamp got reprinted as an A-spec. Yeah, it kind of is like Celebi. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's like the major Celebi. I think that's it for the new cards, right? That's all the new cards that got revealed. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. It's all the new cards, right? And we should get this set. We should get this in uh, Temporal Forces, right? Or th th this isn't in May, right? This is this has to be Temporal Forces, right? Google Translate for the win. That's what I'm saying, bro. 
Yeah, 20, 260 HP is insane. Um, You can play Bravery Charm with it. Give it 310 HP. This is in May? This is in May? Wait, we gotta wait till May to get these cards? I thought, bro, I thought this was in Temporal Forces. That was very fun, I agree. New card reveal? That was, that was really fun, seeing the new cards revealed. You can, yo. Oh, you know what? Blood Moon will be good with Lugia. That's actually good. It'll be good with Lugia, too. I just realized. That's a pretty good card for Lugia. Because you can attack with it early on in the game, too. You just put five energy on with Archaeops. Yeah, Enhanced Hammer reprint is sick. I agree. Temporal Force is already confirmed to be Cyber Judge. Okay, I thought, bro, I thought Temporal Forces was this set, too. Ah, oh, I'm sad now. You gotta wait till May to get these cards? Bro, I want the, I want the, I want the Iron Thorns now. I think Darkrai V-Star stock go up. Honestly, yo, yeah, Darkrai V-Star with that, with that reset stamp, unfair stamp, would be kind of insane. Lucky Helmet and Future Boss. Reset Stam does... I think what Dark Rise sounds up. Iron Thorns only does 140 damage. But the ability is good, right? Wait, does it have to be in the active for the ability to work? If Iron Thorns worked at... If Iron Thorns is only the active, the card is bad. Iron Thorns? No, the Iron Thorns EX I'm pretty sure is in the May set, right? Yeah, we know, yeah, uh, Blood Moon's the Radiant Zard. I think it'll be good in Lugia. I have my low tick reprint. That'd be interesting. Yeah, well, it's in the active spot. Rib, bro. Oh, it's a future Empoleon. Damn, that sucks. I thought, it, bro, I thought Iron Thorns was going to be... I mean, that would be a little too broken. If it was Path to Peak as an ability... Yeah, okay, that'd be a little too good. I agree, Jason. Yeah, that, that reset stamp card is insane. I mean, Path in the Active, it's not terrible, but... Hmm. It's basically just, like, it's basically just Ting Louie X, right? Or, like, Empoleon V. Maridon, I agree, yeah, Maridon could play it. Yeah, Maridon could play it, yeah. Starting with it would be great. I mean, you can, you can play, like, Future Booster Capsule, and is there, like, a hidden run card you can play Iron Thorns with? Maybe that could be pretty good. Yeah, you can do more damage, and you can generate her to it to build it up, too. Escape Rope is gone. True. I mean, there's Prime Catcher, but with the, with the Ace Specs they've been revealing, bro, who knows? Yeah, it's only you only can use it if something gets knocked out. Yeah, Galisopod Iron Thorns BDIF right there. Galisopod Thorns. That's kind of interesting. Iron Treads only does. Oh, there is Iron Treads. You're right. I forgot about that. Uh, but to be fair, Iron Treads does work with Matang. Yo, Matang Iron Treads, Matang Iron Treads Iron Thorns. There you go. There's your future BDIF. That could work, chat. That could work. That could work. I could see it. Wait, what? Where's my camera? There we go. All right. Iron Thorns works with Heavy Baton. True. You trying to make Kalisopod work? I mean, Glycopod's cool. But yeah, it is it is time it is time for me to head off chat. I gotta I gotta make the, the second channel video once all the translations are up on Pilky Beach and stuff. And I gotta get tomorrow's video uploaded. So I am gonna be heading off for the night. You'll appreciate the support there, Owen. Thank you for all the f uh, follows and subs on Twitch and YouTube tonight, as always. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream over on the YouTube side of things, leave a like on the video, it'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Iron Thorns Algazam. True, true. I like that. The reactions, dude. I was that was that got me hyped. That was actually fun to react to cards getting revealed for the first time. I enjoyed that.
The game is back, bro. We're so back. We got a lucky helmet. Yeah, I think the the reset stamp was pretty good. I'm not sure the I don't know the scream tail was okay. The blood the blood blood eyes whatever it's called is good. Um, all right, chat. Gotta head out. Um, second channel video going out very soon. Whenever the cards are all up on Poke Beach, so expect to see that within the next hour or so. We read the cards. We did. We knew what they did right away, which was kind of cool. So I like that. I like that for sure. All right, chat. I'm gonna head off for the night. Um. Gonna be for me. Thanks for stopping by, chat. I will see you all soon. I don't know when the next stream will be. I, I know I haven't been streaming that much. First stream in like almost a month. There's not much to stream right now. You know what I mean? It's just the format's kind of dry. But I'm gonna try to stream as consistently as I can. Maybe once a week minimum if I really can. We'll try. I do like streaming, and this was a fun stream. So maybe we'll do more watch parties. Probably, maybe, maybe for I don't know about Vancouver because like I'm probably gonna be streaming the new decks. But yeah, I'm going to try pocket. All right. Thanks for having by everybody. Hope you all had a good night and I'll see you all on another stream. Hopefully soon. Peace. The stream. If I get on stream, I got you, Jason. I got you. I'll stream VOD it. All right, chat. Thanks for having by. I'll see you all in another video very soon.